Hello, I'm Debs Kay. Thanks so much for joining me and welcome to my little studio today. Um, okay, so this week going to uh, change it up a little bit more and I'm actually sharing with you a full length version of this video uh, which is uh, showing me actually at the easel and I'm talking as I go. Um, so it's a little, uh, you know, it's a little, it, this is a bit new for me um, but I, I really enjoyed making the video because it sort of like felt as if, you know, I was sort of like sharing some sort of more of the nuances that perhaps I, I miss when I'm doing the voiceover. So I hope you enjoy the video. It also shows me getting myself into pickle with the post box um, and uh, obviously how I ended up painting this ended uh, this little scene ended up all right so let's have a look at the little colors I chose and let's get painting so here's what I use to sort of create our little painting here. As you can see, a fairly limited colour palette this week. A um, few pencils in there, which, you know, aren't, aren't absolutely necessary. You can certainly do this all with soft pastels. Um, and I've got my blending tools there. Um, obviously, as I always say, don't worry too much if you don't have these exact colours. You know, just go for something along similar lines or choose your own, you know, colours from your own palette. But if you want to sort of paint a similar scene to what I have, if you fancy pausing the video, um, it'd be great if as this is a full length video it would be great if you paint along with me um, so feel free pause the video and uh, let's get painting okay so the first thing I did was sort of like take a centimeter off all the way around stuck myself a little box around the edge there um because obviously you're going to lose this behind a mount um, or frame you know you tend to lose the very edges of your picture so if you like allow yourself a quarter of an inch then you know that whatever's in this center section here um, is actually going to show in your picture and you can just sort of um, you know take things out to the side as you go along then from there what I've done is I've divided this this up here uh, into three so basically I did a line down there I did a line down there did the same horizontally so just created myself a very simple grid and I've done the same with my photograph um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start sketching in um, what I can see most obviously so the first thing I, I want to get in is that I'd like to get in this post box here because it's quite important this is I tend to do the things that I can see most often you know most easy now this back bit here of it is it goes down slightly and you've got a slight angle Oops, slight angle there. Okay, then as you go back, this is the fun, this is thinner here. And then you go here. Now, all you've got to worry about when you're sort of doing perspective is that these lines are always parallel. Okay, when you're doing something like a box like that. Okay, so we've got our, we've got our, our box in here and we'll take it down to about there. So this is kind of, the edge of the the lower you know the lower scrub and things and that kind of goes off to there okay so that's the edge and then the the actual tree line there kind of goes around there around there and up 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 and then just before we get there, it starts branching off there. Now, you don't need to worry too much about these. You just want to make sure that you've got your, your kind of overriding shape that you want there. Now, when you look at the reference photo, you'll see actually that I've, um, I've changed things up a little bit um, in as much as that I've made it into a five by four format. So this, my size of paper is, um, is, uh, 10 by 8 okay then we've got this kind of little bush here so I've got a 10 by 8 so I cropped the picture down to a 5 by 4 because I felt that um, unfortunately you can't see the photo um, I haven't managed to get hold of the photographer yet to ask if I can show it on the video but if you go over to paint my photo and you can download it for yourself and then you can see what I'm uh, what I'm referencing here basically I've lost this side of the of the picture i felt it was a bit difficult with this clump of trees sort of in the middle you kind of didn't know where you were going so i've lost a bit of that side there and i'm going to lower the horizon just ever so slightly so okay so so that's our so, so then there from there we've got kind of comes out and kind of goes around here now I'm not, you know, I'm not 100%, doesn't really matter if it's not, you know, if it's not um, 
100% accurate. I want to keep this fairly loose. I just want to give myself an idea of the angles and things. You know, I'm not very good with angles, so sometimes I do, you know, I do give myself an indication now as to where I'm going. Um, now, it's totally up to you how much you, you know, want to put in your, in your initial sketch. But I want to give myself, yeah, there's a big old tree there on the edge and then we've got a little bit of foliage coming out at the bottom there and then there we've got a little bit of tuft of grass now I don't now also as well this is something I've changed slightly with the composition uh, I don't want I, I don't really want us to go off in two different directions I want uh, I want to lead the viewer to the painting so I'm just going to lower this horizon ever so slightly um, as you look at it it slightly goes it goes up there you should go off there all right so we've kind of got we've kind of got so there and then, then we've got another another sort of set of trees here we? it's going longer so I, as you can see I've just got my pencil on the side keeping things very very light now just behind this chap here behind our post box here we've got this big tree here and we've got a kind of branch going off in that direction, going there, and then quite a good branch there. Right, if you just excuse me, I'm just going to take my tablet off the thing so I can actually see what I'm looking at. Hold on just one sec. <laughs> okay, I can see a bit clearer now. All right, so um, basically this is quite a big old tree here. Now, I'm not really worried if, you know, if these trees don't look exactly like this. It really doesn't matter. I just love this little scene. It was quite sweet going down a little country lane. Um, look at this little red pillar box. Um, you've got a couple of branches coming up in the middle there. That kind of goes. So I just want to give myself an indication of where I'm going with this. All right, then. Then I've got some more dark masses down here. And then I'm going to have this as a kind of just a little bunchy bush here. Okay, and up in here we've got, you know, everything was bunched together. It's very dark behind here. Um, so I'm just giving myself an indication of everything. A bit dark to around there, then it kind of gets a bit lighter. I'll just be on these trees. As you can see, I'm really not being too particular about about the tree. Um, you know, that's not what's important. I just want to, with this, you know, with every painting, you have to ask what's important. Now, if, if these actual shape of these trees were hugely important. To me you know if it was a really special tree then then I would pay more attention to you know to how this particular tree is going but it doesn't matter because it's all gnarly and all you know all them um, you know it's all over the place so it really doesn't matter it doesn't end up this exact tree you know I just want to create something along the similar lines but I'm kind of having a look as I'm going you know how these branches are, are coming off um, and how we're gonna how we're going to create them. So this area here is a little bit darker in there. And then as I say, this tree here, that's quite a big tree there. Big wall coming up. He's lost his um he's lost one of his branches over the road. Alright, so but I, that's and then behind here you've got this coming down here, so you've got these kind of trees behind here. And then there, these trees here kind of going off in this direction. So I say not being too particular, not really fussing about it too much, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, I can stick in, depending on how the, you know, painting's looking, it's up to me how, how many trees I put there, what sort of depth I want them, how big I want them what shape I want and what creates an interesting shape and things. And, you know, this is just our initial sketch, so not worrying about it, as I say, too much. Just 
fitting in the idea that we've got a nice big old tree there and another big old tree here. As I say, this, you know, really doesn't matter. Just want to give myself the feel of where I'm going. And this kind of foliage goes, comes out from here in front of this tree. And then we go back. And up there, you've still got some stuff going on, but it's a lot lighter behind there. So just giving myself, so I've given myself an indication of this bank here, giving myself an indication of my post box. Now I'm going to put this in. I will just mention at this point, I've put, I've made, I need to bring this down a little bit more, I think. I've made my, um, turn my photo reference into black and white. It's so much easier. I mean, it's quite, this isn't, you know, too bad because um, it's quite a, uh, quite a, you know, there's not a lot of colour in this particular picture because it's a nice snowy morning and things. But, you know, still sometimes colour can confuse you. So if you keep your, you know, if you keep your, your sketch and your underpainting, you know, pretty simple. And you, what I'm doing here is I'm just using a black, a black pencil here. You know, down the bottom here, it's a lot heavier. Now, yes, it can, it can, you know, it can sort of uh, deceive you really. Um, because, you know, you kind of think, gosh, that's a red pillar box. But when you actually look at it um, value-wise, it's almost as dark as as these trees going on here. So you need to kind of be a, be a bit aware of that. Okay, so we've got our... So then we've got a little bit of stuff going on here. Just, again, just want to give myself an indication of what I've got going on. This is a... You know, bank with all scrubby bits there. Okay, so now this side, um, let's have a look. Where's, uh, bear with. <laughs> okay, so going along this side here. Now, I can see just about, we choose about there for our, let's have a look. Now this, come, this is to make sure that we stay in perspective. Now, I'm probably going to break this line up um, a little bit. And I'm also going to bring it in a little bit further into the scene so that the path's not quite as wide as it's, it's appearing in the um, in the reference photo. So we've kind of got a line like that. And we're kind of going off like that. Is that right? And yeah, that feels a bit strange, doesn't it? Hold on, reverse. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Stood back, so you wouldn't have done. Right, okay, so what I also want to do is I want to introduce um, sort of like a, a, a little bush here. I want to... Because I want to, us to be led into this picture. So I want to feel as if this now is in front of these bushes here. Now, these bushes here, I'm not going to have as uniform. I think I'm going to break this up a little bit. Um, I'm going to pretend somebody with a hedge trimmer hasn't actually been here. Um, and so I'll probably make these bushes here a little bit more undulating. Not, you know, not, not as if they've been chopped over the... Uh, uh, Or as if, you know, somebody's been along with the hedge trimmer. Um, I think that's probably as far out as I'll go. Um, always have a bit of putty rubber in my hand. If I feel that, um, you know, if I feel that... Uh, now, this is this is a prime example of me uh, not concentrating. Now, with prospectus, now I've brought this line down here. When Actually, when you look at the reference photo, it is actually going in this direction, away from you. Um, now that will make a difference as to as to how your picture looks. So let's take that, let, let's take that uh, away because obviously these bushes at the front they are shorter or taller rather than these or appear taller. They're not, but they appear taller in the front here. So 
as I say, I'm not going to have you know quite such a quite such a um, that's it. Quite such a manicured hedge. Mine's going to be a bit scruffier. Um, okay, so behind here we've got a little 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 tree here in the distance. Actually, I've made that a bit big. Got to be careful here. Pay attention to the sizes of your trees. Um, and obviously, we're coming in closer here to us, so this tree's actually bigger. And then this one that comes up in the side here. This is the closest tree to us. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So I'll pass going off round, up round there. Now, I still feel that this is a little bit, I'm going to bring this down a little bit. I'm not quite so keen on the shape. And I'm going to bring this path down a little bit too. That feels better. And then what I want to do is these little trees in the background. I want to bring this back round. And then my horizon line is going to be around here, I think. There you go, so let's have a look, how does that feel? That's the horizon line, but this you can hardly see because as you know, we've got a real snowy day here. We've got a little tree coming from from behind there. We give ourselves a little bit of an indication of a little tree there uh, behind those other ones. Uh, So what I want to do as well is I want to actually create a gap here so it feels as if you can go into that back field there. Uh, means I think that this could drop a little bit more actually. This is quite you know, the angle we're looking at. I'll say that's our back field there. So these trees in distance. off there so we've got some little trees in the distance there we've got our hedge coming out here we've got I've decided not to put the um, not to put the um, the fence post in um, I'm replacing that fence post with this tree here I'm going to create a little tree here on the edge of the I think maybe Something like that. So then we'll bring that out to there. Okay, so perspective wise, how's this feeling? Does this feel right? I think it probably does actually. I'm going to scoot this around this way a bit. Bring this in just a little bit more so it splays out as it's coming towards us, it gets wider. So we feel as if we're kind of going in and then back round to that field there. Uh, I'm not sure what this is all about.
yeah actually I think I want to you know take us up to the field there so I'm not absolutely sure about that area so I'm leaving this for the minute and we'll get the other painting in to see where you know the more of the painting in so I can see kind of more where I'm going um as I say this I want to be a bush of some sort which will be this bush of some sort in there behind the bush all oh, this is pretty dark isn't it in there so give myself a little bit more of a feel make sure that it's gonna have my nice main tree trunk here remember obviously with branches you know as you get up higher these branches are splitting off you know this tree trunk is splitting off into branches so Sort of towards the towards the centre of the towards the centre of your trees, you know these branches are th thicker, and as you go out to the ends, they get you know they split down and get thinner. So as I say, I'm not I'm not hugely worried. I think I might not hugely worried if it doesn't feel like that tree. What I want to do is make sure that it feels as if it's come kind of going up round the corner there and make sure I get that tree in to establish that, that kind of area there um, now I'm still I'm not 100% happy with what's going on there so I still think that this is I still think I've come up a little high on here so I'm going to give this distance here there we are. Oh, my little Kit Kat's just come to say hello. Hello, darling. Hello, Susie. Yeah, I think it. I think it's that I just gave that. That's better. All right. Yes, I think that's better. I think I just, I didn't need this, I don't, I didn't really need this here because I'm having some foliage here. So I just kind of want to give an indication there. Um, and the light's hitting it up there, so I, I don't need that bit in there. I just want the back horizon line in for the minute. All right, so I think, you know, I think I've kind of given myself enough of an indication at the moment of those of where I'm going to go with this painting. I've got the pillar box in. Let's re-establish that. Nice and easy, just a... Oh, says she. Nice and easy. And these ones, make sure that that one and that one doesn't matter if it's not exactly the same angle as the post box in the, you know, in the painting there. It doesn't matter. Um, and on on this, I'll get a little bit of shading out the front there. Okay, Debsy, don't get carried away. Okay, so there really, I've got I've got my little sketch. You know, I've got this. Going to have a little bush here, you know, to sort of echo this one on this side. Um, but you know bring it forward so we can have some snow on there um, and obviously we've got our overriding you know branches here leading us to the back there at this point they're coming out in this direction all right so I think I've got enough information of what I want so now what I want to do is I, just, I want to take out these lines you can leave them in there you can cover them up um, you know it's easier if you just take them out, I, I find, and then I don't get myself confused. Um, so that's really how I sort of pull the sketch together, really. Um, you know, you thankfully, you know, I've been painting a number of years now, so I don't, I, you know, especially with landscapes, I very rarely use, use a grid. Um, but I wanted to show you, you know, because when you're starting out, sometimes it's quite difficult to, to judge where things are. Um, and to see, you know, to see where you're going with it. And if you're not used to drawing, um, you know, then that, that makes life a little bit harder. So a little grid will just help you along the way. 
So I'm just going to switch the video off at the moment and I'll just take, finish taking out that bit of rubber. All right, so I've just taken off those lines there. As you can see, I'm not, I've not been too fussy. These will cover over. Um, and as, you know, as I said to you, you don't, you don't need to. It's just that I prefer to take, you know, the majority of them out so I don't suddenly get, you know, lost in my painting and go off in an area and I think, oh gosh, <laughs> you know, where have I gone off to? Because I followed a straight line that I really didn't need to. Okay, so as you can see, this is just with a black pastel pencil that I've been doing this with. Um, now I tend to start off with pastel pencils just as, a, as, as I always say, I find them easier. I find it easier to stay loose with them and, uh, you know, and then... Um, I just find it easier holding them at the end so that I don't get too caught up in little tiny details. You know, the closer you hold it to here, the more inclined you are to, you know, get up up close and personal to it. So we don't want to do that. What I'm just wanting to do, as I say, this is really my sketch. Now, I'm using black in this instance because this is a very, this is a very uh, sort of, black and white scene really um and I, I i i don't want too much other color in it really other than the grays and i want the post box to to, to lift out there uh, let's take another branch up there but as you can see not worrying too much just giving myself an indication of how i think i want this tree to to look there you see as soon as I hold it there you get a little bit too particular so coming down here you've got your foliage you don't want it in too much of a straight line and obviously underneath this bush that we're going to have arcing over here that's going to be dark uh, remember that all the um, all the uh, areas where everything's bunched together it's always darker um, at the base so I'm just using my pastel pencil really to um to, to help me indicate that and I'm just using a black at the moment um now let's have a look let's just make this a little bit you know stick a few more lines in here as you can see it doesn't matter it doesn't matter don't worry you know these are going to be branches coming out here um you know you can just put anything where you want, really. Um, because the thing is, these these sort of sticks and things that grow up, they're all, you know, they all come out in different... Um, they're all different, and a piece of wind will blow and they'll all be the same. So now what I'm doing, what I want to do is I now want to come in with my... with my um, uh, background, you know, my underpainting, really. And for this, like I say, I'm going to keep it really simple. And all I've got is a black here, a darkest grey there, mid grey, next to light mid grey, and my very lightest tone there. So I've got five different tones there, and what I'm going to be doing is looking at the painting and seeing where those areas of light and dark are and how they move. Now, with my greys, I've gone on the warm side of grey. Um, you know, I, I want it, whilst it's a cold scene or whatever, I don't want it to be too blue. I want, I like the I like the sort of like just hints of sepia sort of colours going through it. So I've gone for a warm grey so that I can warm things up. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm going to start off with my darkest values first and uh, obviously come in and reaffirm kind of what I've done. Making sure that I've got a tree there. As I say, not being too worried, you know, because I've got some, some marks already down there. Um, you know, and that's it. They'll end up to be like the little branches and things, you know, um, where you've got all these different levels of, um, you know, levels. Because if you do it too solid and, um, right, so at the base of everything, it's darker. This is, this is really, I'm putting this in wherever I see the real darkest tones, the absolute. So we've got this tree here. This is our little superstar tree to the front. Let's give him a bit more colour. Introduces. Remember, he's, he's bigger, this boy here. Um, and like I say, don't worry, it doesn't matter if you go over your initial marks, if you create other branches. 
you know that's it we're not we're not really we're not really too worried about here i just want to make sure that this kind of feels like a tree and a nice big chunky tree so putting in a little bit of color to the center there or color and putting a little bit of black into the center there now i don't often use black but as i say uh, uh, um this is kind of a you know there's a lot of gray in this scene so you know black is not going to hurt us we can add color to it um, but this is helping us getting our sort of darkest values in so all i'm doing is literally going around seeing where i see that seeing you know seeing where it's it's, it's darkest coming out a little bit there i don't want this too much of a straight line you know this is foliage here so not too much of a straight line there all right so i think that's it on my darkest of darks um we'll take a little bit up here in there, a little bit in the front there, and, da, 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 da. and then this this kind of tree obviously it's, it's you know look where it starts to look where it starts to sort of thin out really. Um, then obviously behind here we've got a whole lot of stuff going on behind here, so we can put a little bit of this, a little bit of this here. We can indicate a few little branches if we want what is going on it's just a bit of a mess behind this tree and i love this because it is it's, it's all messy and i i love nature all messy <laughs> she does a wonderful job but you know us being messy it doesn't work so well but uh, nature she manages to do it and still look uh, absolutely beautiful whenever she does so there we are i just have an indication of a little tree there i think and that's helped bring us down and as I say, under there, a little bit of dark under there. Um, there we go. All right, because to the other side of the road, this isn't as dark here in here. It's, we haven't got so much. We haven't got so much. Um, uh, you know, it's a little bit more snow covered the other side. Um, there we are. All right. So I'm now going to put, put away my black uh, for the time being. Might come back and, um, you know, sort of uh, back with it later and re-establish some things. But at the moment, that's good enough. So next, going on to my dark grey. Um, now, the next darkest sort of values I can see are, are, are in these tops of these trees here. Not as dark as the, you know, these branches, is it? Have we kind of got a shape going on? There we are. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use that at the bottom of these. Remember, at the bottom, everything is always darker. And then, as I said to you earlier, what I want to do is to kind of break this up a little bit so it doesn't feel so... Uh, uniform and manicured so I, I want to break that you know those bushes up a little bit um, but obviously at the top of them you know they've got they've got some light so make them a bit taller at the front and then going you know still keeping my perspective but you know make it a little bit more random there then behind here we've got a little bit of we've got a little bit of foliage coming from behind this tree here and these trees here, again, like that. Oh, we could get our black there to put in a little bit of a this branch here because it's quite dark. Or this this tree here. There we are. I want to give a little bit of an indication there. And then obviously at the top of that, uh, we've got a little bit of darkness going on there. A little bit of darkness in there. I'm coming back in with my grey because I don't want to get too dark there. I've kind of got a little bit of foliage coming out from this tree here. Now these trees in the background, they're going to be lighter still, but we'll just carry on with this colour at the moment. Um, now, or this value rather. Now we've got some stuff going on here in this path here. There we are. 
that path there so we've got a little bit of dark in there right then so let's have a little bit of this coming down here i want to keep this very light at the moment you know in these in this area this is going to feel like it's all you know we've got lots of branches and we don't want to have to paint every single branch you know and every single every single leaf now i'm a bit of a, a toad for getting really detailed I really want this to stay nice and loose. You know, every now and again, I fancy doing a nice loose painting. Um, so this is this is me being loose. <laughs> At the bottom of here, before we go up to there, we've got a little bit that sort of dark in there. Okay, so uh, where else can I see? We can see a little bit here, can't we? Just at the back here. Ooh, got my angle a bit wrong there. That's it. I want to lead us down and up and then to that back field at there. But I'm not going to put that back edge at the moment. I'll just leave it there. Uh, again, just, you know, sort of changing my strokes and... Uh, oh, that went a bit high. Changing my strokes and give, making sure that I've got an indication where I'm going you know where this bank or it's not really a bank it's sort of more broken trees and a little bit of covered grass they're just bits and pieces you know we don't want it too too straight so don't worry you know go in and but it, it's it's darkest as it hits the, the snow covered road um because we've got a snow covered road here haven't we so um all right so then I want to put a little bit of this color sort of going on here I want to get some some more sort of a little bit going on in there because it's not white we'll come back and we can add white to that um, and the same here more towards the center where everything's going out just give ourselves a little bit of a, a little bit of a feel of where that's going all right so I think that feels a little bit high there um, going off there so I'm going to take that down a little bit Kind of want to go in between those those lines that I've drawn there. So let's uh, let's see if we can get this a little bit. That's it. That's better. So then let's just drop this down a little bit more. There we go. So I've kind of got my bush and the things. Oh, we're cooking on gas. Now, we've got a little tree coming down here, so let's just take our pastel there very lightly. These are kind of growing in this direction. We want that to feel, um, want that to feel all, all lacy there at the back. Um, there you've got a little bit of, a little bit of bits and pieces going on here, little branches, just sort of, you know, thin branches up there coming down so I'm kind of using my pastel I'm kind of drawing as I go um, just really looking now now I've done that I can see that I need to darken up this area in here still a little bit light so we'll get a little bit more dark in in that that's better and then Slightly darker in there. Again, darker at the bottom. This is all dark here. Oh, there we go. So that grey, what we'll do is we'll get that post box in now. And you think, my heaven, you're using grey. It's going to be red. Don't worry about it. Now, bear in mind, as long as you've got your angles the same top and bottom, you should be good to go. And obviously your verticals, vertical would be good, Mrs. K. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's kind of enough information there. I'm going to come in with that. That post is quite dark, so I'm going to come in with that post now. Let's get that there. It comes up a little bit at the back. There we go. All right. Uh, let's have a look. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with a, a slightly lighter grey here for this front part of this, 
post box. Now we're going to go in and lighten and darken from here and obviously we're going to make it red, um, which would be cool. Uh, now there again, you see I've done that same with the angle there, I've taken it off in the wrong direction, which is making the post box looks, looks as if it's, it falls off. So I'm going to get rid of that now. <laughs> I'm going to go back in with my pencil and Right, that's a bit better. Still looks a bit on the on the skew width. I think it's because I've got my angle too too tilted there. That's it. So then I need to make sure that this isn't. Yeah, I've got it. I've got too much of an angle going on. That's better. It's a little bit more. Um, there we go, that feels a bit better, says so she. All right, I think that will work. <laughs> let's see, let's see. All right, so we've got, we've got, um, we've got our, our, gray, our, our sort of mid-turn grey there. I'm going to put a little bit more in here. This is our kind of darkest tone. I'm going to put a little bit more up here. All right, so next, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, it's getting exciting now. I love this, it's so cool. I've brought my uh, post box down quite a bit, so I'm just going to bring that path down a little bit there. See what he feels about, that's better. All right, so next on the agenda is our next colour up, our, our next thing. Now, if we look here, we've got these trees these this kind of tree line here we've got some gray going on here coming out to here a little bit down there and let's uh let's put a little bit in here give ourselves a little bit more feeling at those those branches there are going a little bit in there and then this, all right, so we've got a little, little bush going on there, not too dark. We'll get that dark in a little bit more there underneath the, that's better. All right. So then our next sort of lightest value. Now these trees to the distance in the background here that we didn't really put in earlier. Let's give ourselves a little indication of, of where they're going to go. And I think I'm just going to, at this point, I'm going to sort out my horizon light and it is going to be, now is the sky going to be darker than the horizon? Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. So we've got our kind of horizon there. This is a snowy field. Lovely. So we're kind of going in, round and back up. Okay, so next I think we're going to do, I'm going to get my, my sky in is a little bit of value for the sky. Now, the, uh, the this really white up there and it kind of now I'm going to add a little bit of colour here. I want to leave this up here, so we'll assign this this value. And we can always come back and lighten everything up. You know, don't worry. We're just assigning some kind of value to something at the moment. I'm not going to come in with that lightest value um, right now. I'm just going to keep it to the four actually. All right, but as you can see, I haven't put very much of that on the, on the path there. In fact, I am going to come in with that. I'm going to come in with that here, where it is catching the light here. Let's get a little bit of light in there and in behind. 
behind our thing there. That should help us. And here's nice and light. Come in there. And then we lighten up again as we come down the path here. All right, so there we go. That's that quick done. Next, I'm going to take a piece of trusty pipe foam insulation and we're going to rub all that in. Now, shall I do a wet underpainting? Yes, I no, I'll do a dry. Okay, so we're going to rub all this in. So the first thing I'm going to do is come, I'm going to come quite hard where I'll put my branches down. Let's get them kind of in situ so that I've got my lines under there. my pipe foam insulation in kind of the direction that I want things to go. So I'm just pushing these branches in. Now quite often I come in and you know if if I'm if I want a tree to be particular I'll come in and I'll wet those branches down and then they're not going to move. Um, but, you know, as I said on this, I'm not that particularly worried. Um, as you can see, just using my, using my pipe foam insulation roughly in the direction that I want things to go. Sorry for the silence of everyone again. <laughs> I'm not quite used to talking on camera yet, and um, <laughs> and, I, and I have to concentrate, um, which is probably better that I don't do. It's probably better that I just concentrate talking on you, talking to you, because, uh, um, you know, I'm, <laughs> like I say, I can get caught up really easily. So, there's another indication of a tree there, and there's loads of stuff going on here. Okay. So there, where I've kind of left the gap, I just take it from the bottom and drag it up. So that oh, just lost my post box. Don't worry, we'll come back to him. Um, it's very easy to do that. Um, but don't worry, we can come back to him right here. It's kind of all like more mottly. Um, okay, this is. I want to do is make that a little darker than I want, but don't worry about it. It's always better just, you know, to be darker and then you can lighten up. It's much easier to lighten pastels than it is to darken them. Um, so don't worry if you've gone darker than you think you need, you know, you can. Uh, if you're only here when in these kind of subtle undertones I want to give the feeling that things are growing in the direction that they're growing all right so that's kind of that side done so right in our sky all right we've got some other stuff going on here haven't we so we've got a tree back here that I've decided to put in um, we can have a little big unit. This is all coming out from here. Okay, so next let's come to the baseline of, of these. Bear in mind the way you want things to, you know, the direction. At the top of there, this is all a bit more mottly, isn't it? Because we've got these are all trees. So like I say, I'm going to make this a little bit more random. They're not quite so uh, not quite so uniform. So I'm kind of leaving that fairly vague. All right, I'm going to want some of these. So how 
love that feeling. Right, let's see. Okay, so I think we're pretty much rubbed in there. I've kind of got plenty going on. And we've kind of got the shape we want, the shapes we want. That feels like we're kind of going off into the distance already. Sky's feeling a little bit blotchy. I think I've gone a little bit dark on the sky there. But as I say, don't worry about that looking. We can sort that out. What we're wanting to do is just get the gesture of this bit. Like sweeping over. All right, so. Here. I don't really want a line taking us off the page there, so I'm going to make my pretend bush come up probably to about there. Okay, so usually at this stage I kind of leave it for a little while. Um, and I'll come back to it and in, in this case I'm back here the next morning having a go and the first thing I want to do is I want to re-establish some of those darks there um, just you know obviously where we've rubbed in and as before you know not we're not worrying too much just sort of like you know getting the gesture that I want from these trees um, you know because some of these are going to be tucked behind um, Let's give a little branch there. Uh, let's give a little branch there. This is both of these. Both of these two trees are are um, you know quite. We've got two you know two good trees there. Two good old oaks <laughs> or whatever they are. Um, but they they've got quite. You know, quite strong branches, and as I say, sorry, I was just just sort of like trying to find my way around this tree. They've got, you know, some of these branches are thicker, and obviously, as I said earlier, as you get down to the, as you get down to the trunk, you get, you get a little bit, a uh, little bit thicker, you know, and as it goes out to the edges, it always splays. So always bear that in mind. Um, we'll put this tree down. I'm gonna, I think I've gone up a little bit high there, so I'm going to bring this out and down this little, kind of little bush here. All right, so um, we'll put a little bit more. You kind of got. Just trying to look, you know, behind where those strongest edges are. Now let's let's get this tree in a little bit fatter. Let's bring him down a little bit more. Now, as I said, on this on this one, I'm really keeping, I want to keep a, this a very simple palette because I wanted, you know, for it to be simple, hopefully you, hopefully you're following along with me and, um, you know, just putting, make your tree into how you feel. And like I say, because this particular tree, you know, it's not important to me as such, um, it doesn't worry, doesn't worry me if it doesn't, you know, feel like... Um, you know, feel feel like that particular tree. However, it's quite an attractive tree. It's kind of grown out in all sorts of places. So, you know, I did I did did enjoy this tree, but like I say, I'm not I'm not worried. I just kind of want to get the the gesture in there of what's going on. I say making those branches thicker at the bottom. Uh, I think I'll pull out from there another branch. You know, I'm just basically reaffirming it, reaffirming with my dark you know, my black here, you know, they, those, those darkest trees, because they really are the, they, they really are um, the strongest trees. And then behind here, we've probably got another one. If you get this, let's stick in another smaller tree, kind of there. It's always nice. 
make sure you're gapping you know you don't put that tree right in the middle of that tree or whatever just you know because so, certain of these trees have been planted years and years ago and other others have just kind of grown up along the way probably looking at the side of the road so um okay so we've got there let's add a little bit more of this this dark and then what i'm going to do here is i'm going to Keep my line straight there because that's that's where um sorry that's where our uh, that's where our post box is there so I think I'll uh, let me get the post box back in coming in with my darker value now or the, the sorry the grey and at the moment I'm just gonna try and not get too caught up in it I wish I could draw a straight line sometimes <laughs> and then I'll come in at the front of it with one of those or a couple of those and as i say we're gonna we're gonna readjust that later on um i'm gonna come in with the put the post in there we are okay so he's he's kind of there so we've got our darkest area here we've also got some dark we've got another little another little tree going on here so these are kind of all the babies that are going being cast down at the base of all these bushes there it's going to be dark and as I say I, I want to keep I want to keep this fairly monochromatic uh, so we're not you know we're going to use a couple of colours in here but we're going to keep it fairly I love the sort of like a black and white sepia it gave it a gave it a little gave it a little bit of um atmosphere somehow somehow felt this scene could be sort of a hundred years beforehand really um okay so as you can see now what i'm doing is i'm coming in with these with my darkest area uh, my darkest still my darkest value but i'm not pushing this in i'm just like gliding this around normally around where you have your branches you've got you know you usually have um you usually have sort of your moss and things like that so you usually have a little bit of a little bit of something going on around you around each branch and things um i think i'm going to pull a little that's it i want to remember i want to take you take you sort of like round and up and round to that back path there so that's what i want to do there so i'm going to put in i'm going to put in one of these trees here just so that i remember that this is a tree line at the back here a little bit darker looking at you know getting a getting an idea of my reference you know my reference photo <coughs> you know looking at my reference photo but as I, as, I, as i said to you i'm not going to be too too fast um you know doesn't doesn't matter if it's past not exactly you know i just want to give that feeling and then i want to remember i want to have a have a um a bush type thing here again trying not to be too too particular <laughs> it's not particular at all um and then i've got you know basically what i'm doing is i'm using this using the side of my pastel here um i want to give some it some indication of stuff you know those are behind there those ones there and we're just going to dust some color over over that um how's that feeling okay let's uh let's take up a little bit of we have got some space at the top there but this is all just a big tangled mess coming down behind our post box there right at the moment you cut you know it's difficult to kind of see the post box um now this this here we've kind of got bushes coming out here so there's a little bit of light there I probably pulled that over a bit far, but never mind. We'll sort that out later. All right, so let's uh, get a little bit more darkness going on at the bottom here. Then I want to pull a little bit from that path. I just want to pull because whilst there's not much in the photo, you know there will be some some uh, leaves and bits falling at the bottom of these trees. So as you you can use any horizontal strokes. Something like that, but that's going to work. 
and we can come back in and lighten that up or whatever. Um, all right, so let's let's put a, little, a few little branches of this tree we've got going on here. Again, not being too particular, just trying to think. Well, it doesn't really matter, you know, if those if they're not if you haven't got a tree in the same place, you know, it doesn't matter. If you've got a mark down and you like it, you know, you can exaggerate it or or take it away. Now, as I said, I don't want to make this too uniform. So we'll pull down some of that foliage there and we'll just have sort of, you know, um, sorry, concentrating. <laughs> All right. Because <laughs> what I want to do is sort of like, as, as I say, I don't want this as a, a super uniform bush, so I'm bringing, you know, bringing up some of the dark, bringing down some of the dark, and you know, so that my, I'm not going to have a straight line there, mine are going to be a little bit more random. So I'm just kind of working out roughly how, what, you know, what sort of uh, shape I want there. All right, so uh, let's go back into this path here, just so it's coming into the road. As you can see, I'm using horizontal, you know, more horizontal marks there to try and bring you in. Um, and this is it. I'm only working in, in, in my greys. And as I say, we're not going to deviate too far from those. OK, so let's just give that. We've got, we can't have these branches going on down there. Uh, all right. And then we'll, I just want to put a little bit of that dark in back here to remind myself I've got a little tree back there let's let's put that in very faintly there we can add our little bushes there and then we've got these ones further in the distance we've got something going on we've got some trees going on further in the distance yeah oh I said no that's not right Mrs K Oh, I don't like what I've done there. So, I don't like what I've done there. So, I'll just come in with my putty rubber and I'll just take it out. <laughs> or, you know, the majority of it. I'm taking out the majority of it so that I can, because that's actually going to be quite pale there. We've got a, we've got a little gap there. So, that's a bit better. As I say, just, just take it out. I, I find it easier. You can cover it up. It just depends how, you know, how particularly you want to be. And... You know, in taking it out, it doesn't matter so much in this particular scene either because we are going between the colours. But you've got to be very careful when you're working with colours that you don't go too, um, you don't go too, um, you know, the more, the more pastel you've got on there, the more likely you are to turn it into mud. Okay. All right. So I've got my, I've got my darkest value in now. And so, oh, I've just lost my picture. Oh, there we are. Okay, so I think I think I'm kind of pretty happy with that composition. Kind of looks okay. Um, still, I st you know, I still want to go off to a little bit too high around that corner. I don't want it to be quite so high. So, kind of, I'll just straighten that out just a little bit. All right. Okay, so we've got our pillar box in. We've got our trees. Um, right, okay, let's go. Now we're going to put a little bit of colour in. Now, as I say, we want to keep it fairly, fairly things. Now, these trees, that they're really quite dark. So I'm coming in with just a little bit of, a little bit of um, green here. It's a really dark green. It's a lovely green there. But as you can see, I've only got a tiny, tiny little bit left. Um, putting a little bit of that green around the, around the bushes here. Dusting it up into the sky ever so gently, you know, looking at that where you start to get oh it's too so small my pastel, it's not uh, it's not going it's not giving me any sort of um it's going down really really hard and it's very difficult. I want to keep this lacy. Oh lacy lacy lacy. Lacy lacy lacy. <laughs> Oh, 
Now, sorry, I don't, I'm really trying to keep my touch really light here uh, because I, don't, I want this, obviously here, everything thin, thins, thins out. You know, you've got those, oh gosh, you've got those um, branches, you know, you've got so many branches and things going on. Um, but this is behind, oh, I'll just, <laughs> this, this, these these trees are behind these big trees so we want to kind of push them back just a little bit and uh, make sure that our that our trees are <clears throat> in the you know in the front of them so this value it's a dark green but obviously because i've used black underneath it, it's still um it's still a lot lighter than well not a lot it's a little bit lighter than than my trees there so we can let's put a little bit in there in the center of this tree it's kind of you've got you know you've got some stuff going on in there it's a little bit more solid in you know in those bits there um and then the, then at the end of the you know pick up where you've got there yeah. oh gosh very difficult to talk <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> Let's say this is my very first video of actually, you know, of actually talking as I go. Um, I'm going to make it a little... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I've made that a bit heavy there, but never mind. It doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, so uh, now we haven't got... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick another green now, if I can find it in my palette. Bear with. <laughs> now... Right, I've got it. Um, now this is, is lighter than its value than, than, than I've just used. And I'm going to put this as my dark in. Over this side of, over this side of things. Um, over this side of the painting, it, it's warmer. You've got, you've got more browns going on. And these trees here uh, are sort of warmer in there. You know they're lighter and you've got them sort of more browns and things you know growing through so i've chosen a, a warm green for my you know darker values on this side um you know and keeping my bluey greens to over there all right so we've got a little bit but like i say don't want too much color um just want to give my That's it. Give myself just a little bit of colour going on there. You know that, gosh, that green's so small. Um, now, I'm going to come in with, uh, I think I'm going to come back in actually with that grey and sort of mute that down a little, you know, mute some of this down. Let's see what happens. You know, because each, each painting is kind of like a bit of a discovery. Mm. I don't like that really. <laughs> Hold on just one sec, let me go and find myself a lighter value one moment. Okay, let's try uh, right. I've gone back to my palette and uh, let's let's try breaking that up a little bit with that. Ooh, that's a bit scratchy. Right, if you if you have a pastel and you find that it's not going down, you know, it's it's going down strangely. Just take the edge of it off on a piece of uh piece of paper then hopefully now these ones are going to keep brown but I've got this yeah it's just a little bit lighter in value than the green I've put down and it's helping to break up this area a little bit put a little bit of it in this Bush here that's going to come in the front there. That's a bit better, you know. And don't worry, you know, most paintings will go through sort of like an ugly stage. You think, oh, <laughs> um, you know, is it is this ever going to turn out? And they don't always, you know, they don't, they don't always turn out. Um, in fact, a lot of them don't. But that's why I like to work on sanded paper as well, because if you know, if I do end up 
and the painting doesn't work out, which this one may or may not, um, you know, I can, I can, um, sorry, just coming in with my, uh, with my paler green there to put a little bit more green over there. Um, that's it. <clears throat> okay, so I'll put a little bit in this bush that we're going to have there. All right, go back to my cool green there. I just want to pull some of these. There, a bit more flappage would be helpful. Pull some of these out here. Make sure we don't get too. So I've got some darks going on there. And let's 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 get some let's get some of that green down at the bottom. The, that darkest green. Oh my goodness me! I really need to water some more pastel. That's it. Okay, I think, says she. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, uh. Oh, it's so difficult when you're watching and I'm trying to talk at the same time. This is a whole new challenge. All right, so let's get take some of that green and put that in this, uh, this background tree that we're going to have here. And then obviously we've got, we've got some trees coming out from... We've got this, this little chap coming out. From behind there, we just want to give an indication of him there. Um, we'll put a little bit of that in the in our, you know, to help lead us round the corner. That's at the side of the road there, so we're kind of going <laughs> something like that. And yeah, let's let's put a little bit more around here at the base. Remember, obviously, everything at the base is uh, is all bunched together. Uh, so I'm going to put a little bit of that green down here, that darkest value. Yeah, okay. So you see our path is lightening up because we're getting those darks behind it. Um, <clears throat> now, I think what I want to do at the moment now is I, I want to soften, soften that tree up a little bit. Um, like get rid of some of these plonky, plonkier marks. I just want to soften some of those. And what I'm doing, I've just this is just a Kiddies paintbrush, and it's basically just letting me soften up some areas, you know, perhaps where I've suddenly got a big clump, whether they want a big clump, um, you know, because pastels they, they they go down, they go down as they will, um, and you can only uh, and here I'm just going to use it just to help me tease these up here, just get a little bit of colour in here. Um, actually, so what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging you that these are kind of trees, be trees behind these, these front trees. So I'm using my, I'm using that just to, I'm taking some off, but I'm dragging some up at the same time. Um, so we've got a few little, that feels a bit better. Um, and then you can, you know, you can use this colour and you can push it into this path here. Um, you can just soften it all down. Now, I don't really want it there, so what I'll do is I'll take my fan brush, which I've got, and I'm just going to, you know, brush that out of the way, the majority of that out of the way. doesn't matter if you've got a few little odds and sods. Um, but, you know, this is obviously snow, so I want to make it feel like snow, so I don't want too much uh, nonsense going on there. So I'll just take my fan brush and just take off the top excess there. <clears throat> All right, so I um, still look a bit plonky around here, got a bit of a something going on here. And as you can see, my board is slightly tilted, so it's kind of catching on the paper. I've got to do that for the way that, you know, for the way I'm filming. Um, but what I do suggest you do is have it have your board sort of dead upright and uh, I have a uh, I have a sort of gutter at the bottom of my paper and it, it collects it although mine doesn't but if you've got your board upright you can just tap your board and um, 
you know, majority of that pasta will, will fall off. And depending on what stage you're at at the painting, as I say, you can you can choose to, you know, it doesn't matter. I want this fairly monochromatic, so it's okay if I've got bits of stuff going on there. And what I'm doing with this, with this is I'm just softening out areas that I just, that's better, yes. Um, now around here, Again, it's getting a bit heavy there. I want to give myself a soften off behind this tree. And then I'm going to go back in and re-establish the tree. Um, but I'm going to add a bit more colour this time. Just a bit. <laughs> Just a little bit of colour to those trunks. All right. So uh, next, let, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's get those trees back in. Now, I've got a very dark... Um, no, this is going to be dark enough, I wonder. No, I don't think that is going to be dark enough. Bear with. <laughs> right. Now, what I want to do now is I want to just establish some of these bigger oh. branches. Um, now, because some of these branches, they're going to be... Um, they've got snow on them, haven't they? Um, so we want to pick out a few that we can, you know, put some snow on nicely. So I want to make sure that they're in quite... Um, you know, quite strong. So I'm choosing my branches at this stage. Now I am sort of like picking out from some of the marks that I've put down. I'm thinking, yeah, okay, that branch comes out nicely. Being heavier at the bottom here. I think we'll take a little, this little chap out here. Um, and it's up to you, you know, you choose which, uh, which, which branches you like and which, you know, which gesture you like and you want to have a little bit of snow on or well, you know to be stronger now we're going to go down and soften this black down because it is quite you know it's quite black and that's what photos tend to do as well they will they will make things your dark areas seem uh, you know they will black out your dark areas however this is you know it, it's a kind of monochrome scene so we have got black in this whereas you know normally I, I don't often use black in a in a in a painting um but in this instance with this particular photo reference you know it is it is black and greys with just a hint of color really going on okay so uh next thing we're going to do now i want to richen these trees up as i say i just want to start giving them a little bit of warmth i would say we're going to keep barely monochromatic now following those you know the lines that i've put down you know, the branches that I want to keep out, introducing a couple more. This is a very deep, dark, um, this is the infamous Terry Ludwig. Um, that's it, we'll make sure that branch actually comes from that branch. This is a very uh, famous Terry Ludwig uh, eggplant, um, eggplant pastel. Um, and it's a wonderful, rich, dark aubergine, you know, eggplant <laughs> in, in uh, American. I think you call it with being English. Uh, it's aubergine to me. <laughs> um, but uh, that's it. Pull out a couple, a couple of these branches from this back bit here. Let's stick in. Let's Like smaller tree there you know obviously this this uh that's better that's just you see this 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 color just gives you that little bit of richness and just a little bit of color in there um just a hint just making your darks a little bit more interesting so along with that green that i put down putting in a little bit of this and be careful you know be careful when you're working with your really dark values that you don't you know you don't put too much like this it's kind of you know everywhere in no way if you put too much of it you're going to lose the you're going to lose the, its its effect but just put it down that's okay that's feeling that, that's feeling okay obviously we're going to bring our you know lighter values over and do some do some stuff going on here we could put we could use this color in in our bush here couldn't we 
Now this, obviously we don't need to be too particular again. Um, as before, you know, some of these branches we can, we can um, highlight with the snow coming down, you know, we're going to make this feel as if it's a bit snowy. Um, but when we're going to be putting our white on, you know, or, or a lighter value on these, it's going to, it's going to, um, you know, we're going to get different colours going on. Oh, Kit Kat, hello darling. Hello sweetie. Kit-Kat just decided to get hold of my neck and have a little stretch herself on it. <laughs> it's quite painful, but there we are. Okay. I think she's ready for her breakfast. <laughs> okay. Obviously, we, we're going to kind of lose this in, in the border, but it's, you know, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to put it in, you know, at, at, take your, take your painting out to the edge, even though you're going to lose it because we, because we sort of like did that initial border first, um, we're uh you know we're we're kind of okay on that we know that everything we want is going to end up in the scene so um just putting in this this bush here you see what what i'm doing by sort of um you know some of it gets rubbed in some of it gets lost and those kind of lines we've got they're giving us a little bit of background to what we had you know to what we had okay so let's use this little dark value at the base of here a bit lighter on this side it's not as dark but it'd be nice to get some of those colors going on over you know this color when we put the lighter values on just turn such such a pretty color um all right so up here we've got a Got stuff going on here, and this is all that's it. Oh, I seem to be manicuring my bush actually, <laughs> it's getting straight to the light, but it doesn't matter. I just want it to feel you know. <laughs> um, now, what I'm going to do here is I, I'm just going to kind of come along here. So that we, we, you know, some of these are, they're behind each other, isn't it? So we, we've got to kind of create some sort of gaps in there with the darker values. And then that, then we can sort of build our foliage out from there. All right, so let's put a tiny little bit of this back here. Ever so light, because this is a, as I say, super dark value, so be careful, you know, but you have got areas of light. Again, it's up to you, you know, this little tree here, you can bring it out as far as you want, but this is the, that's kind of the background of it. And then we'll have a little few bushes coming, you know, dark areas taking us around to that bit there. Um, put a little bit of this in. Ooh, what angle shall I go? I think I should still go in this direction. That's it for those uh, for those up there. Got some stuff going on there. Yeah. A little bit heavier in here, isn't that so? Put a little bit of that in the centre of this. Um, if you know, if you look at that's it. So we've got some dark going on there. See, all the time, really, I'm just going from you in between these dark colours. Um, you know, to just how to do that it's a constant process of that you know sort of it's a push me pull you it's a push me pull you um uh, yeah push me pull you <laughs> that's, that's how it reminds me okay so i think i've got I'm, i've got to be a little bit careful though that I'm, I'm just going to indicate let's have that as a i'm just going to indicate a few A few tree chunks going on back there because you've got all sorts of stuff going on okay so a 
there we go all right so i think i'm done with done with that for the moment gosh it's looking messy i do hope this comes together <laughs> all right so let's uh let's go over to this side of the painting a little bit and let's see how we get on over there um now we've kind of got this sepia as i say this this sepia going on so this is slightly lighter in value than we've just been using um i'm just gonna Put it in between those dark areas that, that I got. Gosh, it's not a lot different in value. It's still quite dark, isn't it? Uh, but don't worry. Okay, we'll use this as a... We'll add a little bit of brown over here then. Or Yeah, this is a dark sort of chocolate brown. A little bit going back there. And a little bit on this tree here. These branches coming out from there. Keeping the touch very light. Um, so it doesn't get too heavy. Um, then I'm going to come up the value scale a little bit more and we're going to use uh, a slightly different one. Unfortunately, I don't, I haven't got, this one might have a bit too much red in, but I'm a little bit, because I don't use browns and things so much, I, I don't have too much in my palette with, with browns, you know, other than those that came in my very initial sets. I don't actually have a lot of, lot of browns um but i think that uh i want to pull that down a little bit there i'm pulling it down from the from the back so it feels as if you know breaking it breaking it up a little bit so that we don't end up with too many yeah <laughs> don't worry up and go and soften it down <laughs> which i will um but we'll leave it there for the time being all right so we've got some greens going on i think what i want to do now is i want to i want to get the balance of my sky a little bit um before i put in too much color um let's establish what's going on up there obviously we're all white in the scene i want a little bit of color in the sky um, but I'm going to, let's try this colour, see how, see how that works. Oh yeah, okay, that's nicer. This is a nice, sort of, it's a greyed out blue. And what I'm going to do is drag it down into the, to the tops of these trees by dragging it down lightly I'm starting to get kind of a lacy effect now on this painting we're going to put a little bit of fixative on it I think um, this is where you've got to keep your touch really nice and light we don't want to end up creating these these up here to um, feel too heavy so let's come in with here but you know we're quite lucky on this we don't need to worry too much because the um you know obviously it's a snowy sky so it is it is quite gray you know the scene is quite gray so normally i would panic about having all the dark in the sky you know the uh the sort of mucky mucky sky as i call it um, but as I say, you know, I'm not so worried on here because we've, we've got, oh gosh, we've got those, um, the sky's full of snow, isn't it? So, uh. That I'm not going to put too much up there. I'm just going to indicate just a little bit in there, so it just gives a little bit of air in there, in there, ever so lightly. You know, I would always rather build up slowly and lightly than putting down heavy marks. Um, you know, because you put down heavy marks, you, if you don't get them in the right place <laughs> where you want them, um, you know, they can be really very distracting. So. Be, I always encourage you, you know, to be, um, 
you know, to have a light touch, build up your layers softly. You know, some artists disagree with me and that's it. We're all personal. It depends how you like to paint. But I like to, I really like to build up slowly and get all these lovely soft, soft sort of gentle things going on, um, you know, rather than Okay, we've got a bit of sky going on there. I'm going to introduce some of this this here now. Now we're slightly slightly darker here. I want to be a bit. I want to be a bit careful. I don't want to. I really don't want too much colour going on down there. So um, I do want to keep it sort of monochrome in its. It's not, it's not monochrome, but, uh, yeah. Oh gosh, that was a bit heavy. Okay, just putting some of that blue towards the end, uh, you know, just to start highlighting these, you know, the tops of this. Uh, oh gosh, tops of my bush going on. Yeah, you know, the thing is, sometimes you put down marks and it's okay. Um, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't matter if it goes in the wrong place, and it doesn't really. It just depends on, you know, how particular you you want to be. I'm just putting a little bit of light to, you know, on on that bush. You know, on my bushes there. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit of this. I'm going, to put a, I'm going to use my pastel on the side. Oh, that's a strange shape. <laughs> I'm going to use my pastel on the side here. You see, because what happens is you go in with more layers. You know, some of these will be, some of these will disappear. Um, but I kind of want to give the, want to give the feeling of a scrappy bush there. Few little bits going on in here. And we can come back in, you know, and, and go, you know, that if we've bought something too far over, we can go back in. Um, but we've got a little bit of, you know, some of these lower branches here, they're catching that snow, aren't they? And then obviously we've got our post box. So let's get our, on top of our post box, we've got quite a nice, Good little bit of snow going on there. So we'll use that in there just to indicate the top of our post box so we remember where we are. Um, all right, so let's get a little bit of, I'm going to put a little bit of air in here, doing a little bit of negative painting just, you know, so that my tree's not looking too, too blocky in there. A little bit of this colour going on underneath here. All right. Okay. Oh, don't worry. We can, you know. Oh gosh, <laughs> we can get that back in. They do have a life of their own at times. These pastels. Um, but I wanted more uh, building up here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. So, you know, now I kind of know where I'm going. I'm coming in heavier in places. Um, ooh, now, that's something you have to bear in mind. Now, that's normally where I t uh, tell myself off for a mucky sky because I'd gone down there and then I went back up and you see I've put this, um, you know, the, 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 I've made a very strange mark there, which is, is totally wrong for the trees. Um, normally, I would suggest taking it out, but as I say, because we've got... Uh, because we've got some sky, you know, we've got some snow going on in the sky and it is all greys and blues and things, um, you know, doesn't matter. We can afford to be a little bit messier, says she. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's, let's see if we can go along some of those, some of those branches that we did before, just kind of at the top of them, just to indicate that some of them have got like snow, you know, think obviously, you know, don't, don't don't have your snow sort of going totally vertical. 
um, you know, obviously it, it sits more on these horizontal branches, doesn't it? And up to, up to you. You're just putting a little few trying to follow what you've done underneath but again you know when it comes to this you can you can be really particular and um there's a few of my paintings that oh my goodness me i've been so particular where the top of the snow goes on the branches and things um and uh you know it's, it's up to you that that's the that's the wonderful thing um all we're doing here you know is looking at light and dark and how it's hitting things and uh it's up to you how refined you want to to take your painting. You know, where do you want to take your painting to? Because basically the principle's the same. You're just going between light and dark all the time. Um, and uh, I'm going to introduce a little bit of air up here, I think. Uh, you're going between light and dark all the time. So a lot of it is very repetitive. Um, and obviously the more you... Uh, You know, sometimes you can do a painting and it really doesn't take very many strokes at all. Um, and others, others take time. Uh, but like I said earlier, I'm not too fussed. Um, if it takes me time, it'll take me as long as it takes me. I'm, I'm having fun. <laughs> so, I'm having fun. <laughs> Whether you are watching me is a different matter, but I'm not sure. Hopefully you are. And hopefully you're kind of having a go painting along with me. Um, but as you can see, you know, I've got my touch... I'm just kind of creating that lacy feel behind these trees here um, by by um you know by by using my pastel in different different pressures here now let's get in let's get in that bit there because we've got a bright bit there and then we'll we'll get in our path around the corner a little bit. All right. Start to, as you can see here, using more horizontal strokes and sort of like dragging it into there. So we get, we're building up a natural feel as we go. You know, there's all sorts of, the light is hitting it in all sorts of places. Um, and there's more snow in some places, less snow in others. And that doesn't, you know, that's it. This, our, our snow in our scene is falling where we want our snow to fall. Um, so, you know, just you see there where I'm coming over that tree there, I'm just ever so slightly, I just want to, that to kind of disappear off and this this tree here is pretty dark so we're going to lighten this up start redefining it it's gone got a little bit dark so, and it's also got a very funny shape but we just want to give an indication back there all right, so a little bit more of that colour in there. Introduce a little bit more. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so now now we've started to get that in. We've kind of got a, a balance of our colours and things. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm just going to put it on pause a minute and I'm just... Okay, so I've had a little step away and I kind of think, yeah, I like the way this is going. Just going to come and put a little bit more. Just going to, you know, I'm just going to go backwards and forwards until it sort of just feels... I want it to feel really good. <laughs> so 
So just going to go backwards forwards, adding a little bit more down. I'm going to come into these branches in a minute. Um, well, we'll stick a few more now as I've got it into. Um, and just define a couple of those there. I'd like this branch to be coming out that way to feel as if it's coming out. So I'm going to put some dark underneath that snout. Just put that like so. That feels a bit more like a branch. And then we'll have another one going up behind it. Um, and this one's sort of coming from nowhere, so let's have this one coming down from underneath there. Let's give them a little bit of colour underneath. Now we can come back and add more, you know, later on. Because as I say, some of these are going to disappear. You know, as we move on, we're going to add a few more lighter colours here. So some of them are going to disappear and some of them are you know, going to be brighter and lighter than others. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit more, find the top of this bush a little bit more, get a little bit more light in there. Make it feel as if it's kind of coming over the path. Um, there. And uh, over here, I think we need a little bit more dark in there actually. So let's get a little bit of our, a little bit of our, one of our darks, just put a little bit of dark in there. down um, notice that we've got a bit of a we'll come down negative paint around my post box there bring that down a little bit uh, all right let's put a little bit of dark in there this is coming down and then between between there there's a little bit more dark isn't there so underneath in between the branches sort of go between now you need to be a little bit careful when you're doing this that you don't end up um you don't end up uh, getting it too muddy because um, we want it to feel really nice and delicate there. Now let's take this this sort of uh, this trunk of the tree just kind of ends there. So let's re put something in there. That feels a bit better. And then we'll do the same. Pull it out there underneath there. A nice big old branch and underneath that one. I think we'll pull one out here. Let's come in there. There we go. Oh, that looks good old. So that one looks a bit strange just there, but you know, that's it. Some of these branches are snapped off. You know, the wind's blown and all sorts of things. So, but I'll take that out a little bit more delicately there. Um, that feels a little flat there. So bring that up from there. There we go. Okay, and yeah, I, I don't really want... I want this to feel behind there, so I'm going to cover up that, that bit of stuff that came over there. Let's cover that up and then let's bring that tree out again at the bottom. There. So we'll put a little bit more dark behind our post box there so that when we put that red in, that's, that's going to pop. You know? Like I say, we're going to try and stick to a limited palette, so... You know, and as I'm doing it, I'm thinking, yeah, actually, I'm not actually sure I want too much of that yellowy brown in there, but I'm going to put a little bit in now because I actually really like the colours that are going on. Oops, up. Like I say, I don't necessarily want this to feel like a road, so you know, I'm happy for the, I'm happy for bits to come on come on into the road just teasing that out there and that'll be darker underneath there because we've got that's a bit better let's break up some of these here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a few little verticals in here you know because there are some bits sticking up so just using the side of my pastel just to just to create a few little verticals there, not going, not going crazy. I'll come in with a slightly lighter value and do that as well. Um, now, let's go back to our, let's get this bush with a little bit more. We'll get a little bit of that blue in this. We've got a few um, branches going on here as if they're, you know, covered in snow. But again, don't really worry too much. Just, just remember, obviously, that the snow tends to, 
sit on the more horizontal branches and it's it's up to you how you you know how much snow you want on them how much you want to create there oh gosh that's a bit of a strange mark but don't worry about it <laughs> we can <laughs> we can deal with that i think uh, we'll pull it out a little bit make it i want to make it feel as if it's you know just sort of half off the page coming into the page there so just i think you know and if i get too caught up just do a bit go and do a bit of that let's take this into here underneath here i'm going to brush up my pastel because i've just been into that black and i don't want too much of that black getting on this snow so yeah so in between i'm just rubbing off my pastel um on the on my towel at the bottom here okay, a bit more color down a bit more pastel down here i'm going to lighten this in places and uh Actually, I quite like that blue. Actually, it's quite it's a pretty little blue. It goes quite well. So uh, our snow is going to have a bluey tinge, uh, but we'll, we will lighten that up a little bit more. So uh, I'm going to go back in here and sort of maybe come under some of those branches that I put the snow on. You know, pick a couple out. As I say, it doesn't really matter. Just always bear in mind how you how something is growing really. Um, Sure about us at the moment, it's a bit heavy, but don't worry, we can lighten it up, go with that bit of that brown, lighten it up just a bit. And behind there, this is obviously the, our path here, so behind here, you've got a little bit of this dusting over these side bits as you go. That's it, okay, that's starting to come together, isn't it? I'm, all right, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Bring a couple of use of pastel on its side here. So sort of do some negative painting into that tree there so that they kind of feel like branches, but I'm not doing it with the branches, I'm doing it with the sky at the moment. And then just gently pull that down into there. So you get the you know the shape that you want to create really. of an ugly shape there. All right, so how are we looking? Okay. Did it turn on? <laughs> I didn't know whether my camera turned on then. Okay, I'm gonna come in with this slighter value green here, but not, not the darkest of my greens, but just slightly, because you know, round there, you've got stuff coming out from there, haven't we? Uh, you know, that's coming out from the tree. There we go. Just give that a little bit. So it feels as if stuff's growing in front of it, behind it. I'm going to lighten this. Right. Go into there, put a little bit more colour in there behind this. Maybe get a bit more colour going on in here. Feels like a so it feels like some things are coming over, some things are, you know. There we go. A little bit in there. Let's get a little bit of that angle going on over there. light in there at the top of that tree and behind here we're going to come back in and put these these branches in but what we you know what we've got there now those will be the faint ones underneath the tree there but as you can see all the way along my touch is really light not you know not doing anything hard now we want to make these feel in the distance and they're a little bit too dark that that, that sort of area there so I'm going to come in with a slightly lighter brown. Let's see if we can lighten it up just a little bit. Mm. It's 
still a little dark, isn't it? So let's come in, go up the value scale a little bit more. Um, and let's go for, let's try something like this and see whether this, uh, this is like a, do I like this colour? Yeah, we can put a little bit of this colour in. This is like a, you know, lighter value brown there. So just, I just want to soften this down a little bit. It's a little bit hard, a little bit heavy. I'm going to make this feel like a tree there. It kind of just feels like a little bit of a lump. Hmm. That's looking a bit strange, but true, that tree, isn't it? That's a... Let's give it a little bit more shape. Hmm, I'm not keen on that at all. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my sky a little bit further down. And I'm going to soften that up. That's better. Let's push it into the background a little bit. Um, As things go further in the distance, they're less in focus. So it's kind of just all scrappy there. You've just got a, an idea of where your um, of where these distant trees are. So these ones in the distance again, they're they're a little bit lighter. The tree, you know, as if they're going going back there. Then let's put a few of these uh, pieces on the side. Put a few of these marks down in this. Is that going to do anything? I don't know. Let's try it. That's the thing, just just try it. If, if it. Oh yes, that's good. So using it right on the, you know, finding a um, sharp edge, using it on the edge, because these are little, you know, grasses popping up out of the snow. We can put some more, you know, we can put some more snow in there. Let's lighten up a few of these without, a little bit more, break up this dark a little bit more. You know, but I don't want to put too much snow in there. I want this to feel like a, you know, just a scrappy bush coming out from the side here. There we go. All right, so let's put a little bit of this, this colour kind of in this. Places there, so that looks a little bit more interesting. Um, uh, we've got a bit of a, that's a bit of an ugly shape we've got going on there. So we're either going to need to pull a branch out from there, which might be nice, or we take the sky in. I think probably it'll be easier actually to pull a branch out. So let's go down here and let's pull a branch out there. Oh, that's quite a big, a big heavy branch that I've pulled out there. But don't worry. That's okay, you know, that's that's the whole thing. I, I didn't really mind. I just want to get the, you know, if you end up putting a thicker branch in, don't worry about it. <laughs> just make it up as you go along. <laughs> you know, but just kind of bear in mind at the centre of the trees, it's usually, it's usually darker, isn't it? You know, where everything's bunched together and as you come out, it gets lighter as you come out. Now I've got to be careful because that's that Terry Ludwig I've got in my hand. I don't want too much of that on there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come in with that other nice, really dark, my little tiny dark green that I've got there. Just going to soften that down a little bit. So putting that Judging it as a go, really, just trying to make it feel a little bit natural and that things are growing in all different directions because they do. Because <laughs> they do. I'm going to put a little bit more dark in there, I think, over the top there. And that shape's gone a bit strange there, so we'll. That's better, let's knock that back a bit. Um, and then on the front here, you've got some. That's better. Okay. A few little, a few little sharp stuff going on there. As you go back, you don't see so many sharp edges. You know, you don't see so much. Um, 
so many individual branches it kind of just all goes into a tangle same here that's it that's starting to get better and that's really what we're doing is we're just going backwards and forwards with these few colors just trying to get it to feel a little bit you know a little bit see coming into the, this here now just stopping it down in there is that is really an ugly shape I made up there too so let's uh let's tidy that up a little bit make that little bit uh that's a bit better and then to balance it we'll take something out there if you can see I'm not I'm not going down with a straight line you know I'm not sort of going along with branches like this which is you know very much how I used to do it now I'm just trying to use my pastel in different in different um, you know in different angles just trying to make it feel a little bit natural up there and that, that feels a little bit too straight suddenly going off in a strange direction so I could just go in and I just soften it a bit, you know, take some of it out, pull some of this down, pull some of that up. All right, that's kind of feeling, that's kind of feeling okay. Um, I think what I'd like to do is, I'm, I, I do want to lighten this a little bit, it's a little bit dark there. Um, so let's try, let's try this, see what, uh, a little bit of, oh, just use this in a vertical manner, very, very light, just to give a dusting there really, over the, take some of those up in front, down, just breaking up that. You know, breaking up the line a little bit so it's feeling a little bit more natural. There we are. Ooh, not sure about that colour. This is looking very strange in here still, but we won't worry too much about that at the moment. I'm going to add a little bit of this in, in this bush over here where it's a little bit lighter. Just soften this down ever so slightly. That's better. And then in there you've got, you know, a few of these branches here, they're a little bit, you see a bit more sky around there. Excuse the silence, I'm just, <laughs> just trying to work out what on earth I'm doing when I'm doing it. Um, still got these branches still looking a little dodgy there, so I'm going to... All right, that's feeling a bit better. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm still feeling that that's too. I'm going to put some more snow in here now. Lighten this up just that little bit more. Still a little bit too. It's a little bit too too much stuff going on. Lighten that. It sounds like my, one of my doggies is up to something naughty downstairs. I'm not quite sure what. I'll take some of this colour out of here. It's coming in a bit too far, so I just want to. There she goes. <laughs> All right, hold on just a sec. All right. I'm just going to put a little bit of that into 
Oh, excuse me. Now, cleaning off my finger, I just want to take a little bit of that in there. It's too heavy. It's too much. Too distracting. I don't want it to distract us going up that path. I just want it kind of to be there and feeling kind of okay. So what I think we'll do is we'll, we'll pull that out there. Bearing in mind, you, you're going to be losing the bottom of this, so I kind of want to make it feel as if it's just coming out of the corner of the page there. All right, so where are we now? Let's have a look. Um, so I'm going to go up into these branches now with a... Try and gently... It's kind of feeling like it. And we've got some... Kind of stuff going on here. It's kind of coming out from behind and then let's uh, see if we can get this tree going a little bit better there that we've got looking more tree-like. And this one, this is proving to be a, this side is proving to be a little tricky. I don't know why. Sometimes that happens, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't, uh, and that's where you kind of have to be a little bit careful. You don't obsess about it too much. Um, yeah, that kind of feels okay. Uh, now I'm going to come in with uh, another lighter value. This is more of a, this is more greyed out. I want these pastels up here to, again, just introducing a little bit more. As I say, each pastel goes down differently, you know, and this, this pastel is quite scratchy. So it means I can... Uh, it doesn't blend blend the colours so much. It more, you know, a bit more light in there. You can see it between those branches there, and then again as you come out here, so it's a, a little bit more light in this area here. See, it's not not laying out down anywhere near as much pastel. This one, um, excuse me. Sorry, my doggy was just trying to, was about to, wanted to sit down in a very un, unhelpful place when I'm painting. He decided he wanted to be under my legs, which is not very good because I go backwards and forwards. Um, so, as I say, this is a little bit lighter in its value. So just putting this sort of in those areas that are perhaps a little bit lighter. So we've got, you know, this patch up here. It's very subtle, but it's a little bit lighter up there. Then we, and it kind of is light to this corner here, actually. So pulling it down, pulling it across. <laughs> ah, we'll get some at the bottom of these. might need to go back in with some darks but it depends how you see the thing is i don't really want to mess with this too much with regard to color because it depends how light we end up going on our you know on the path here so uh, it might just be fine so let's leave it not interfere with it at this stage which is which is a tendency of mine That's it. Let's get a bit more light up there a tendency of mine to interfere before I need to, you know, I uh, sometimes I, I I sort of do is nothing. What on earth did I go and do that for? You know, it was actually okay. <laughs> so, you know, if you find that you're getting caught up in an area too much, go into another area or go and have a cup of tea or, you know, just go and take yourself away because something like this, it's it's it is the strokes that you put down, and we're all going to put down different strokes. So my my tree is not going to end up looking like your tree, etc. Um, which you know which is a good thing <laughs> you know and that's that's the wonderful wonderful thing I love I love it with artists you know how we can take the same scene and make it look you know we each make it our own in, in different ways and it just depends on how you put down your marks Oop. <laughs> how you put down your marks as to how um you know your painting ends up and uh, you know 
it's just so lovely. I love when I go on to paint my photo, you know, if, if, if a few artists have had a go at painting a particular picture. I just love it because they're all so different. And I think, wow, you know, we are a creative species. So, you know, let's create. It's wonderful. Really, really wonderful. Okay, so let's put a little bit of light in there. As we're going round there. Okay. So not going to touch my post box at the moment. Now what I'm going to do is I think, yes, uh, you have to excuse me, sorry. I'm just standing back and having a look, which is what I, what, I, what I suggest you do, you know, all the time. Just keep standing back, having a look at how your balance is. You know, really at this stage, you've kind of gone away from your reference photo now, you know, start off with your reference photo and then, and then just make it into your own. And uh, popping in with a little bit of dark there because it is dark under that bush there. There, that's better. Lovely, too, too dark. Remember, we can always go back and lighten, you know, lighten up if we've ended up going a bit too dark in an area, which I think I probably have there. Um, I want good contrast around this this post box, so it's a. Uh, it's going to pop out because it's it's cute, isn't it? <laughs> it kind of reminds you know we're off to post our Christmas cards. How cute is that? Uh, so let's just I just want to kind of in between. I'm going from that's better. Just softening that off just that little bit under there, you know. And these these marks that I'm making and things, you know, they're they're hardly discernible at times. Um, but when you get up close to the, the paintings, you do you do see all the marks. Quite surprising actually. Right, I'm just gonna now now I've kind of got the a little bit more where I'm going. I'm going to um I'm going to uh pop in a few branches there, a few heavier marks there so that we feel this is oh gosh, I'm not sure about that heavier mark, that was a bit tough. But that's okay. I think I might get rid of that one. Now, quite often I like a really smooth sky, but because because obviously we're there's snow in the sky, yeah, it can be a little bit uh, it can be a little bit more fractured, which is quite good fun. Uh, okay, a little bit more light in here. Oh, that's better. That's starting to feel like a tree now. Look at that. Um, <laughs> All right, so let's take this up here a little bit. Take us off around that corner there. Oh yes, I want to go there. And then we've got a little bit of brighter spot coming out here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go off and pick another really light value up so that we get a little bit more um, interest in that snow. Um, it's kind of a little bit heavy there, isn't it? And the sky. Um, so like I say, I don't want it too blue, so I want to lighten this up a little bit. Let's find our balance at the next stage. All the way through, I like to find my balance at each stage in the painting. Um, you know, I kind of get it to a point and I think, okay, all right, yep, yeah, that's built up to that level. What next? You know, um, but I do take, you know, take my time, go round. As I say, it's not a race, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Um, now, what I want to do is I just want to, I do want to grey this down just a little bit more. So I'm going to take that, that, um, is that the grey I used? Let's go. Yes. So like at the edges, you know, where the, just want to kind of define those a little bit more so we don't end up losing that that is, you know, sort of, um, It's kind of a, like a a little path of leaves there, isn't it? Now we need to bring some of the some of this down into here. This is a little bit sharp here, this line. So let's go back with our super dark green and let's. Uh, oh gosh! Oh, it's so small. <laughs> super dark green and let's uh, 
you know, bring it down in a couple of places, break it up so it's not quite so... That's better. All right, so let me go and hunt for another another light value. Normally I pull out my palette before, but I really wasn't sure where I was going to go with this. Um, I thought, well, I'll start off with my greys and then we'll we'll see how we go. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go and pop off. Won't be a sec. Okay, decided I, I popped off and I've, I've got to have a look at things and uh, so I'm getting my pastel and just wanted to put a little bit more definition there. And here as well at the bottom here. Just pull that up a little bit more. That's it. Okay, yeah. Okay. Right, so now I'm gonna now I'm gonna introduce some other colours to my snow. Um now let's see how light this is. This has got a little bit of yellow in. It might be too yellow. Let's uh let's test it. I want to put this in, I want to, this back bit here is catching the light, so giving it a little bit of sunshine on it. Normally when things go off in the distance, they're cooler in their colour and they get warmer as they come to you, but um, snow kind of changes that a little bit. <laughs> Hold on just one sec. All right. So just one to, I'm looking at this, you know, if you look at, now I've, I am going back to the reference photo a little bit to see where this, where it, you know, the path lightens lightens up, and you've got very very subtle differences going on. Um, this is a little bit yellow, uh, more yellow than I wanted, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna mute that down a little bit, um, and we'll we'll put a lighter value on it in a minute. But it's going to give us a few different. Uh, a few different, um, you know, colours going on in the snow there. Let's put a little bit of this under, under here. Kind of up to about there, really. It's quite light. I'm just using this. That's it. Yes, I don't, I don't want it to feel too flat and smooth. You know, I want it to feel uh, more, you know, more natural if I can. So, um, coming into this using horizontal strokes so I'm coming in underneath those bushes there to give it a little bit more of a feel. Um gonna put some of this snow colour this yellow in the in the bushes there. Or this hedge hedge row whatever it is that I'm creating here. <laughs> put a little bit of warmth that side. Um, and as we're coming into the tree here, let's get a little bit of this colour going on here. Lacing in. Yep. Okay, everything over here is is, is, is a little bluer. So I'm not going to put too much sort of over there. I'm going to create a little, little sky hole up there. Uh, and I'm going to take like some of this again, going down just ever so gently, picking, picking up, you know, sort of just gently teasing those sort of colours together so that they're going to feel all nice and and lovely. Still not happy with this section over here, so I'm going to pull this into this even more. I think it's. Uh, feels, you know, like a palm tree, <laughs> which, which I don't think you'll somehow get in <laughs> wherever this picture was taken. So uh, I don't want it to feel like a palm tree, so I'll just take some of that in there. And I'll come back in and we'll, we'll stick some, uh, we'll stick some more, um, <sighs> we'll, we'll stick some different branches in there that look a little bit more natural and not as if they're a palm tree. Keeping that nice and light. Yeah, this is starting to feel like snowy, isn't it? Right, okay, so I'm going to come in now. I think I actually went in, I think that was a peach that I just actually used. These are, you know, these uh, these values are so close together that sometimes it's uh, difficult to see what colour you're using, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. 
Yeah, I think I went a bit peachy on that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go back in with my blue there because I didn't, I didn't actually want that there. <laughs> That's it. Cool that. There we go. All right. So now I want to. Now I'm going to come in with a a sort of whitey silvery colour. Right. So this is going to be like a, a silvery grey. I'm just going to darken up the top of the sky. <coughs> oh, please excuse me. Darken up the top of the sky just a little bit with this. A little bit of this going on. Because if you look at the reference photo, you've kind of got almost like a halo around these these trees here. So they're a little bit lighter in their value. So I'm going to come up the value scale even more and use... Uh, let's see what that colour is like in comparison. Yep, that's a little bit lighter. So I'm going to introduce a little bit of that around the edges of these trees. There, it's just that ever so slightly lighter. It's going to take us up into our, up into our sky there. Keeping my touch really nice and light. Well, that's better. Yeah, it hasn't got quite so much yellow in this one, which is what I want here. I don't want too much yellow going on. Doesn't matter if it's, you know, doesn't matter if it's, um, if it's not straight. Now I want to, now I want to sort of come down this path because this, at the side of the kind of, where all these leaves are and things, you've kind of got like little lighter areas before it comes into that. There, it's lighter still. There we go. Coming up here as well, leading us up, up the path here. Let's take ourselves up. And be careful here because obviously you're going <laughs> into this, uh, into the, bless you Johnny. <laughs> So that is my husband Stevie. You can hear him all over the land. <laughs> Got a very distinctive sneeze. <laughs> all right, so let's get a little bit of this in here. Again, let's break that up just a little bit. That's it. That's starting to feel. That's starting to be a little bit better. But look how dark this 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 value here looks now. Um, amazing. You know, once you. Just lighten it up just ever so slightly. You know, you kind of think you're working with whites and things, and it's sort of like a, is white white? No, not really. <laughs> it's not at all. And uh, once you start putting on the lighter lighter value, you know, all of these ones that you've put on before suddenly appear. That, you know, they're they're not white anymore. They're uh, so let's, and so you can you know stick in a few more. Just the occasional branch, you know, and uh, and then suddenly it's going to pop. It's going to pop, bring it out from the others. Um, and the same is going to happen in this tree here. Now I'm not putting too much cream there, uh, or this this whitey colour. I'm going to, underneath there, I'm going to add a little bit in the sky there. And sort of here, there's kind of like a. There we go. Soft in the sky there. Starting to feel like snow a little bit, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Often I'm, you know, I might come in and soften this with my finger, but I want to make sure that I've got enough pastel down to begin with. Um, so that, uh, so that if I do come in with my finger, um, 
I've got enough pastel moving around, you know, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to struggle with it. A little bit more light in the sky there, I think. That really is a very unusual branch that I've done there. But, uh, Mm, not sure if I go in with this light over that I could end up um, I could end up uh, making an almighty mess so let's get another couple of, let's re-establish another couple of others and it might not look so strange and let's maybe take it from the end and bring it out a bit bring some branches out from it uh, not sure. Still feels a bit. Uh, let's uh, bring a branch down from there, loop us over, and take us through. All right. So I want to lighten up in between here. Um, so there's a difference between our sky and our. So it kind of feels as if the path, the path's going off. And really what I'm doing, I am sorry for the silences, really what I'm doing is I'm just seeing where, the, where those patches of light are, you know, where they're coming from, how, how, it's, how it's actually feeling like it does. You know, it's just a blanket of beautiful snow. I mean, ooh, the dogs would love, uh, the doggies would love, um, you know, sort of uh, walking over this. They would have a way of the time. <laughs> snow up their noses and all sorts of things um let's have a little bit of let's have a little bit of this here to make this feel this is still feeling a little bit uh what's that yeah that kind of feels like there's the bushes behind those bushes are behind there now so what i want to do actually is i want to take a bit of that dark not too much but just a bit of that dark and just in a vertical motion so that there's it feels like there's a difference between what's going on behind and what's uh, what's in front of it but as i'm doing it you know obviously i'm dragging that pastel over these ones so these aren't so bright and a minute ago these were looking really bright um but they're kind of disappearing and then it's it's up to me re-establish them, give ourselves an indication like we did earlier that these are trees growing up behind so kind of again just going in with our on the side of the pastel to make these feel like um, trees in the background you know there's a few heavier bits there's a few All right, this is starting to starting to come together now. I think we are getting there. Going to put a little bit of light in this in this area here again. Very very gentle. And um, now I mentioned earlier that I might use fixative in this. I'll see see how this goes. Um, you know, in the areas where it, where I want it lacy and maybe it's gone a little bit too um, it's gone a little bit too. Uh, muddy you know and, and the, the pastels then are going on differently you know they're they're kind of gliding over the top and it kind of getting smudgy um and if you get in and smudginess is good in some areas but if you're getting smudgy in areas that you you perhaps don't want to um we can pop a little bit of fixative on that to give us another layer of two so it kind of fixes those colors underneath it um but we'll see how we go i you know sometimes i use it and sometimes i don't um, but I think probably what I want to do now, I'm going to leave that at this stage and 
I think I want to get my post box in. <laughs> so I'm going to get, uh, yeah, I think I want to get my post box in. So I'm just going to take a moment, stand back and just, you know, see that I'm happy. Then let's get the post box in and then let's see what, if anything, we need to do to this background now to really lift it. All right. OK, see you in a moment. All right. So, OK, we're going to start with this little post box. Now, I've got a purple in my hand here now. Um, I'm not sure. I might have too much pastel underneath there, so I think I might just take some of that out um, because I, I I don't want it to be I don't want it to be too dull. So I'm just going to lift a little bit of that pastel out, and we'll re it there. You didn't see me blow it off then. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to try, and this is a nice square pastel. I'm just going to try, try and come down. Oh, well, I've got to be careful because at that rate, my, my post box could could end up. Um, could end up being giant, right? But well, I'm going to go from this corner here now. I'm going to go up so slightly. And uh, if you look at the post box, it has got some shading in. So what I'm doing is I'm using this purple as my as my um, dark value under under my red, and then hopefully that's going to that's going to help it pop. Now we've got a line saying you can see sort of under the snow, the shadow at the top there. I kind of got that and then it's kind of darker in this corner here and when we come to be putting on our reds this will just help help um that will just help us so she right okay so now i'm going to come in and i've got a kind of burgundy red i think this is no actually i think i'll go for that one it's got a little bit more red in it um now let's put this on the front and see how this goes with colour wise. Ooh. Now you're not um you're <laughs> the front of the side but very different at the moment. But don't worry about it, we're going to go over this, this now with this colour again. Oh, I've got some pastel moving around there. Oh, let's come off. No, let's go. Across the top. You're only really drawing a rectangle. Now, if you're brave and you've got your, you know, you've got your, your pastel's a nice, good shape. You can obviously just do this in one in one sort of movement, really. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to go back in with my purple again. I'm going to darken down the top of it just a bit. This side is darker, and uh, at the bottom as well. Let's take some of that up again. I've got my glasses and I can't really see what on earth I'm doing still. I think I really do need to go and get my eyes tested. Heaven knows what these paintings actually look like. <laughs> okay, so we've got a little bit of a darker area going on here, so let's get a bit of uh, let's get a bit of dark there. I think I went in too, perhaps a little pale with my <clears throat> background value, you know, in that grey. I think I should have perhaps just popped in, popped the purple in to begin with. Um, <clears throat> right, now I want to uh, sort of, this is really straight this edge, isn't it? So I'm using my background colour to We're going to separate that out, let's stick a branch in there Now I've done that, it could be a tree <laughs> Okay, alright <clears throat> Now we're going to lighten up that front bit, obviously the Let's come up the value scale. We've got a nice, ooh, nice lush red here. Now, obviously, this is, as I say, you can. 
ideally if you can come in sort of one or two strokes with this oh that is bright isn't it oh i say it's a bit lush right that only comes down to that i think that might be too bright <laughs> might need to knock that down a bit i think um so let's come back in with our purple in the corner now we'll just blue it down a little bit You want to be careful, you don't want to do too much of this. It's so much nicer if it goes down in a um, in one stroke. But that's it, so, you know, it's not until you get you get um you get colours down with each other and you you know they how they work how they work with each other, you know, individually they might look very different, but when you put them next to another colour, like you can see putting on that red there, oh my gosh, that's really kind of that's really popped that, that pillar box out, hasn't it? So. Mm. Oh, I think I want this a little redder actually. So I'm going in with that other, other burgundy colour now, the middle. Oof, mm. doesn't quite look red enough. Now how am I going to get that colour? You know, and this is it. Sometimes you get to a point with painting, you think, oh gosh, I'll put that in. And that, it feels too, it doesn't feel rich enough in there. Um, so I'm going to have a little think about that. So I think I'm going to come in with my pastel pencil at a minute and see if I can try and get this a little bit more feeling a little bit more like the post box. Oh, going a little bit. So that sort of highlight doesn't really come out that far. Oh, what are you doing, Mrs. K? <laughs> What am I doing? Let's put some snow back here for in the top. Now I went in initially with my blue, so let's go go in with that bluey colour that I started off with with my Oh, that feels strange, doesn't it? <laughs> what have I done? Oh dear. It's because it's angles. I am, I am terrible with angles. Oh, we've got very thick snow on the top of that. I think that goes, I think that angle up there is too, too um, steep. Let's try and flatten that out a little bit. Yes, okay. <laughs> It's at this point I think help. Yeah. Uh. All right. So now I've I've try, I'm trying a sort of brick red now and see whether this will this will do the trick. Let's see. I think my post box is a little fatter than the one that we've got there. Never mind. A little bit of that in there and see. Is that feeling any better? Mm, still not. Yeah. Okay, let's bring that front edge down a little bit because it's feeling a little short. I'm concentrating now because I think I'm making a pig's ear with this. <laughs> <laughs> so um, now, now this angle at the bottom here goes just that little bit. I don't want to make it too steep like I did earlier. Sometimes you get <laughs> you get this. It's sort of like oh my gosh, 
And especially when it's a focal point, you know, this often happens. I think it's because, I think it's probably because you, uh, I get too nervous about it, you know. <laughs> Whereas if I was braver and... Right, okay, so I'm going to come in with my black, my black now that I started off with. Let's darken this down at the bottom here. And then this edge is quite sharp, isn't it? Down here. I think I've got enough definition there between the front and oh that's starting to look a little little better. Um and then let's let's use that under here to that's it and now does that look like a post box? I don't think it does actually. <laughs> Which is a which is a tad disappointing. Um, right, okay. <laughs> All right, perhaps if we get the post underneath it, that will help it feel like a post box. This <laughs> is she in desperation. <laughs> okay, and then we, we do have that. We do have this pole coming up from there. there okay i'm going to speed up the next few minutes of this video a little bit because i literally just go backwards and forwards backwards and forwards trying to get this post box right i mean it's something so simple but i seem to have made quite a meal of it so i'm going to speed this up a little bit and then i'll pop back just in this in in a mo and uh, i can show you how to rectify it when you've messed it up <laughs> all right i'll see you in a mo Right, I've had a good night's sleep, so uh, walked away from it, and I think that's always the best thing to do if you're struggling. Either walk away for something, or just um, <clears throat> excuse me, or just um, you know, just uh, go on to another area of the painting. You sometimes get that, and it's uh, it's highly annoying. But what I want to do is I've, I've kind of got away. I've had a little look, and I've seen that basically I've come out way too far um, on this side of it, which is not helping us. So. What I'm doing, I've just got a little scratch pin there. Because I put the pastel thick down there, I don't want too much of it, you know, sort of behind us. So I'm just taking it out. And this is the great thing about pastels. I just want to take it out to the kind of where I want it. So just lifting it out. And then I can go back in there with my other pastels. I'll take my brush just to smooth that off a little bit. I find this a really helpful little brush for taking out areas. Um, so just going to take take this out, take this back to here. Right. 
Okay, I saw the new line there. And I think I've now, I, I did take it down too far. So I'm going to take a little bit of pastel out here. Take a little pastel out here. And also, if you look at the reference photo, the post is actually kind of off in that direction. Just a little bit. So I'm hoping these things I'm doing <laughs> are going to do it. It's so ridiculous, you know, I've been painting for so long now. You didn't see that blow. I've been painting for so long now, and yet still, I still have an issue with angles. You know, give me a curve or an ergonomic line and things, and you know, I'm, I'm absolutely fine. <laughs> but but uh, straight lines and angles, um, yes, you can see I've kind of gone off there. So let's take out a bit of that black line there. I'm just going to take take this out and basically I'm going to start again with it. There we go. But you see, whilst I've still got, you know, pastel underneath it, I've taken out enough, enough pastel now that I can go in on the top without sort of creating silly lines um, and it getting, you know, too, too goopy. There we go. So just taking that out there, being a little bit careful. We can come in here again in a minute and we can, you know, re add that so it looks a little bit more. Um, I'm just going to be quiet for a minute while I concentrate. <laughs> so um, hopefully my husband will pop on a little bit of music for me um, just while you just see me tidy this, this up. And we're going to get this right because there's other things I want to do in the painting and it's kind of getting there and I really, really love this little scene so I really would like to get it right. And the thing is, you know, this really should, as I said earlier, should just sort of be done in a, in a couple of strokes. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just get you just get it, and it just doesn't happen. Anyway, I said I was going to be quiet, so I will be. Bear with. <laughs> Yay, I think I've kind of done it. <laughs> so she, I think I'm there now. There we 
<laughs> just put a little bit of dark underneath. But as you can see, I've just been going backwards and forwards, just trying to get my shape shape right. Yes, that feels a bit better. Tra -la! Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> That's uh, live in action. <laughs> um, but the thing is, I wanted, I wanted. I'm just going to take this brown out. I wanted to show you, you know, just how, just how you can, you know, pastels are so forgiving, and you can, you, you can mess up, and usually you can get yourself out of it, um, and. But it just, you know, it just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience and, uh, you know, and try not to, try not to get hung up on, on things, you know, as I did in that. I mean, what a palaver that was. Um, so, you know, just silly, it's so silly, you know, some, some things can be so, um, can be so tricky, you know, we all have our little things that we're not, perhaps not so good at. I want to bring out some of these um, some of these branches, you know, these sort of ones in the background here. Let's get some of those in and kind of underneath there. Again, just skimming our pastel over. We can always go back and re-establish things because obviously that's that's you know part of and behind. Uh, All right. Yeah, okay, that's feeling a bit better now with that little bit of brown in the top. Let's, let's put some up here. Sort of make sure that we've got kind of got the, doesn't feel odd. It's also going to help tie this side of the picture with that uh, a little bit more. But kind of looking at, trying to vary my strokes, um, but you know, thinking about the way those branches are growing when they're coming out of there. You know, they're kind of arching over. Um, we're going to put a little few more. We've got lots of more scrappy branches up there. Um, now let's have a look. We've got a little, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, this, this sort of, this is, this is all gnarly branches here. So, um, more dark in here so that this this bush here is going to uh, feel as if it's in the front of this stuff going on behind so I just want to give it a little bit more it's got quite a sharp line there so let's soften that and give it a little bit more of the dark in there then we can go back and we can we can pull some of this over And let's get let's get some of that let's get some of that uh, kind of snow going on in there. Oh, I love this! You see, just if you're ever so light, you know, when you just grab them over, it just catches bits of it. Um, you know, and that's what I you know that's what I want. But sometimes you want to go in with a with a um, you know, with a firmer touch, it's like I'm going to go in now and let's put some branches, you know, going on on around here now. A lot of the ones I put down here were perhaps a little bit, uh, a little bit straight. It's not as straight. It's quite scrappy. This little bush, those branches twisting round and going up. So that's it. Just kind of get your feel. Doesn't really matter. Uh, We'll come in with some light in a minute and we'll lighten up some of the that's it just just coming in and this is the brown I'm using I'm going to put some of this brown in in those trees they're a little but I'm finding them a little bit heavy in their color um or you know in, in there then I don't want them too black and then they're forced to kind of overtaking the picture so I'm going to put a little bit of this brown in there um help help just because it's just that you know lighter value up it'll just help just soften 
you know, that black, because we've used black, and, and like I say, black is a very heavy colour, which I don't often use. Um, but it did, you know, it does it does work in this. These these trees are, you know, really dark, aren't they? But um You know, they also, they do, whilst they're really dark, you know, we've got bits of moss on them and uh, bits of ivy and things. So we're going to break up this darkness now. But like I say, I just want to get a little bit more, a little bit, these a little bit. Feeling, you know, the tree feeling a little bit more natural. It's never, you know, as I say, not one colour in there and I've been quite, you know, being quite hard in there, so I want to uh, want to break that up a little bit, and um, let's have a look. I've got kind of branch going off there. Let's. I think I'll come in with the with the harder one here. As you see, I've put I've put like a blue blue line up. Up there is snow, so we're going to kind of got to make that feel as if it's coming from somewhere. What's on top of something? <laughs> so you don't need to worry too much. Um, and just lighten and darken as you go, really. I bought out another blue line, uh, you know, snow line there. So underneath, just going, just going through again. It doesn't really matter because. It falls in lots of different places so so let's put a few of these sort of smaller branches up here Ooh, need a sharp edge of my pastel here uh, and just do them as you as you you know as you feel fit remember we're we're losing the top bit of that but let's take it off the paper anyway um, and into there Think about sort of how far your your trees, you know, your trees coming out sort of both sides really. Um, obviously these are like little roads. It's a little road here, so at some stage these uh, these trees would have been uh, cut back. And as you can see, I'm just sort of picking out lines, trying to just make it feel a little bit more natural you know because you've got little, little tiny branches coming off in places and others they're you know big and chunky and gnarly where they've kind of grown up over the years and um there we go there we go that's starting to look a bit better all right i think i'm going to make this branch a little bigger there so it feels as if it's coming out of there and that there. Oh, I do love playing. Sorry, I'm forgetting to talk. I, I love playing with trees. You know, they're just such a tangled mess. You can do whatever you want, really. Um, which is such fun. You know, for trees and foliage. And, um... A little bit thicker that branch there, and then we'll trail it out over there. Yeah, yeah, they're such fun. You can, you know, you can have such a good playtime. I like playing, <laughs> and I like, you know, just sort of going round and because it's all, it's all, you know, there's branches going off in every direction, you know, so let your, you know, some, some places come in hard, you know, harder with your pastel, other places, you know, just as you see me doing there, just literally rolling it over and kind of, it's just catching, you know, it's just catching areas. Um, and that's it, you very rarely see kind of a branch from the start to the finish. Um, you know, a few of them you do, but uh, you see, oh, what I'm doing is I'm making sure, you know, there's a few places that you need to get right, and obviously the, the it's an idea to get right, and obviously it's that, it's that width of the tree, is it, uh, 
as it comes up and you know, it gets thinner and branches out at the top. You know, you've got to kind of make sure that it's uh, that I've made the sort of t bottom of my tree a little bit too wide for what's going on up here. So I can just bring this out a little bit and a branch. <clears throat> It even needs a little bit more, so let's bring it out a little bit more. Again, you know, don't go down in straight lines, but you know, try, try not to sort of do a colouring in session. Um, you know, sort of try and try and vary your strokes and try and you know, when you want an area covered, do different, you know, do smaller, diff, different strokes. You know, try not to. Go down into continuous line, get get the hang of you know, sort of putting your pastel down and then and then kind of lifting it off. Now what's going over on over here? This is all looking a bit messy here. Um, so what I want to do is I just want to define a couple of these, you know, a couple of branches. Um, That's it. You see, I wanted a sharper edge. This this is getting a bit, you know, blunt, which is great for, you know, certain areas. And that's it. Always bear in mind what you, what your pastel's doing because they, uh, you know, I think as, as pastel artists, you know, it's um, it, it's always a little interesting because you know pastels change shape um, as you use them. You know, a paintbrush kind of stays the same until it starts wearing out. Um, but if, but pastels, you know. You'll use them one day and they'll be one thing. Um, and you come back and, they're, you know, you do a little bit of work on them and you've kind of lost some of them. And now, I'm not, I'm not particularly paying attention to the reference photo here now. I'm just, you know, because I haven't followed each branch as the reference photo, this painting is now kind of going into, into its own, really, because... You know, as I say, I haven't um, I haven't done each branch exactly as as the reference photo. You know, I haven't done that, so my marks have gone down differently, and that's the whole thing. Your marks will be going down differently. Um, you know, as as you go, and what you want to bring out, and what you want to um... sorry, concentrating. <laughs> well, it wasn't. I don't want those too thick coming out there because obviously these are these end branches. Um, you know, but that's it. What, whatever you, marks, you, depending on what marks you put down, that, that depends on what, uh, you know, what you want to do with your painting, what feels right. You know, does it, does it feel like a tree? Um, and it's a good time of year, actually, at the moment to, to you know, to go out and going out on a nice winter walk or something. Have a look at these trees and, uh, you know, how they grow. Um, whenever, whenever I go out, I, you know, I, I'm just captured by nature, you know, thankfully, <laughs> usually if I go out with my husband, usually he's driving, which is fabulous because I get to kind of look around and uh, uh, I don't need to, you know, don't need to concentrate on driving. He's got that job. So, um, you know, I get to, I get to kind of look around and, and that's it. All I'm doing all the time is that as I'm looking out the window, I'm appreciating this amazing, amazing world we've got. Um, and I'm, but I'm looking at, you know, looking at the trees, looking at the, how things are growing. Um, because like I say, it doesn't matter. You can do it as you want, but you do kind of have to, if you want it to feel like a tree, you've kind of got to know how a tree is formed. Um, and our human brains are so good at assuming and uh, what's that old phrase? Assuming makes an ass out of you and me. I think that's, a, you know, it really is assuming anything. Um, and as humans, we're, you know, our brains are kind of, um, uh, kind of wired to, to, you know, sort of think, well, that's a tree. You know, we're taught as a child uh, that, you know, those things that come out the ground, all different shapes and sizes, all different things. And obviously we categorise it down and make it, you know describe it more and more but we basically we just call it a tree um and so in a, in you know when we're kids the first you know when we're learning to read and all that and you know learning how to you know 
uh, learn all these strange things that us humans have taken ourselves to and um, that when we're, when we're doing all of that you know we're looking at a we're looking at a picture of a tree and we simplify it down you know we simplify it down into into things and so therefore we assume you know and you don't really realize when when you start painting you don't really realize just how much actually you don't you don't um you don't look at um, you know how much you just assume you think okay a tree's green on the top and it's got a branch you know it's got branches growing out of it and you kind of think well that, that, that's fair enough um, but when you look at they're all individual you know that, and that's it as well that you know if, if we Achilles drawing a painting they will um, they'll make all their trees the same maybe different sizes but they'll make them the same shapes and things and that's what you've also got to be a little bit careful of is that you don't, um, again, one of the things we like to do as humans is kind of line things up, line things up. Um, and again, if you look at nature, nothing's lined up. You know, there's very, very few, very, very few straight lines in nature. Everything's got some kind of, uh, some kind of twist or, or bend or knobble or, or whatever. Uh, right, okay, so as you see, I've just been going around with that with that dark valley there, just getting a little bit more, getting a few more branches up there, so it's feeling a little bit more, um, a little bit more natural. Now, okay, so now I'm going to come in with my, uh, with my blue that I've used up in the sky, not going, going too light. Um, oh, don't know what I've done there. <laughs> there we are. But you see now I've kind of made that feel as if that's coming in, in this direction. Um, and I'm going to put a few of these. I'm going to play up in the sky here with the blue. Again, you know, like, like I did earlier, try and find an edge that you like on your pastel. Um, and just, let's get a little bit of that in there. Going up on in there. You've got so many little tiny branches. All curly and all pretty. Okay, so let's um, ooh, a little bit of air going on up there. And now, as you see, using my pastel on the side. Now, because uh, I'm going down into this dark, I don't want too much of this dark kind of going up there. Because the idea of what I'm doing is, I, I want these. Uh, I'm lacing this in now, and sort of getting that lacy feel at the back here touch is really light and as you can see just gently ever so gently that that's a prime example you see i hadn't cleaned off my passport and i've put like a, a mark up there does it matter in this case no it doesn't but um you know if you can when you lace it because the more pasta you put down the more it will it will blend um and you know the colors will mix together which in some areas is great but obviously we want to create a lacy feel up here so we don't want the pastels you know sort of um getting too slippy and slidy because <laughs> uh, once they get slippy and slidy you're that you're then going to you, you you'll have smeary bits um and this is why i say we might come back in here uh with a little bit of fixative which i use occasionally and it is helpful on um you know when you're doing trees and uh, you know this this kind of scene now you see the wonderful thing is is that when you, you you've kind of gone over here you then as you pull that blue over there it's picked up that the the terry ludwig eggplant we put under there look at the state of my finger um sorry <laughs> i'm gonna have to wash that in a bit it's getting very mucky i don't like a mucky finger too either <laughs> um but yes as you as you as you uh, sorry as you're um you know as you're dragging this blue pastel over here you're picking up some of that gorgeous aubergine so you're you've got another little another little color going on there it's so pretty um because they, they just interact with each other and i think this is why i just absolutely love pastels I love the way you can get these blends and you can get all of these. I mean, they're just such luscious sticks. They're so adaptable. Um, you know, and yeah, they, they, they can be tricky to work with. Um, but I just think the results you get, you can get such a softness. Um, and then you can, you know, then you can have them, 
you can just get such a one pastel is a different uh, is a different um, each pastel is a different painting tool and you can use it in so many ways um, and I'm going to be doing a video in, uh, at one stage just showing you the different ways that your, your, your pastel can be can be used but you know because that's it however you put it down that I mean that mark is very different from these marks here isn't it you know this feels a lot more um, just by putting it down harder you can create that's looking better as you can see, I'm just coming in, not 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 being too too fussy. Gonna snow. This is kind of a bush in the front, isn't it? So the snow is sitting on the top there. Let's take a few out of these. And doing this, I'm, I'm going to be doing a, a couple of different lighter values. Um, at this stage, I've just used the uh, I've just used the um, the pale blue and that and the pale sort of creamy yellow there. Um, now, what I'm going to do, as I said, I wanted I want to brown those trees up just a little bit more. I think um, again, going over, pulling out some more. You see, I'm not necessarily pulling out more. I'm some of them I'm just going back in and reaffirming. So I'm doing, you know, like we said earlier, that kind of push me, pull you to uh, in between. Um, and I think I'm going to... Again, you see, I had a little bit of a strange shape going on at the, that tree there. So it's suddenly... I've gone a bit too narrow too quickly. Um, with my branches. All right, that's a bit heavy, but. Yeah, I've got to be careful now because I'm getting a lot of pastel on there and I'll, I'll end up uh, getting too, too mucky up there. So I'm going to be a little bit careful how much I put up here now. Because, you know, we've got quite a lot going on there. And as I say, we've got to get that lacy feel. So, how's it going? I think we'll take... That might help us. Let's take a branch out there. Oh, yes, that's better. But can you see, sort of like, some of the branches then are... Um, you know, coming out, it, it's feeling like it's starting to feel like it's actually three-dimensional. Um, and that's it, you know, we're, we're working with a two, we're just working with a bit of flat paper. So all this is just trick of the eye, really. Um, now, careful, don't want too much. I just want to... Um, Again, darken off a few of those. And again, you know, coming in with my dark, really dark fanny there. Um, but as you can see, if you keep your touch really nice and light, we're introducing some more colours. Oh, oh, it's starting to feel lush. I'm starting to get a bit happy with that now. Let's have a look. But it is it's kind of at this stage uh when you when you're painting here now because we are getting down to just these last little finishing finishing uh finishing marks here. Now you see that's now getting a little bit smeary. So I think I am gonna come in and I'll I'll smear this down just a little bit more so it feels a bit I think I am gonna come in with just a little bit of fixative. So I can get, so I can get, um, so I can get a little bit more colour, so I can get that lacy feel a little bit more up there. So I'm s sort of dragging this at the moment, then I'm going to fix it and then we'll go back in with some, with some uh, bits and pieces over the top there. All right, but for the time being I'm leaving it, so I'll come back to that. I'm just going to go and wash these mucky hands, <laughs> won't be a sec.
Oops, sorry about that. I, I forgot to press record. I'm just coming in now. Uh, you haven't missed much. I'm just coming in now and just uh, making sure that these, making sure that some of these branches are, are thicker as they come to come towards the base there. I've kind of gone. Just want to, it's feeling a little bit, some of those branches are feeling a bit strange. So I just want to thicken up some of those branches that are coming out. And then uh, I'll put in a few smaller ones. Yeah, it's kind of feeling a little bit better. Um, I think, uh, I think actually that's a branch coming down there. So I'm going to take it this down a little. Ah, that's better. That down a little further into there. Some of that colour, and we'll just. I will take down a little bit of blue into here. more of these kind of little whitey branches up here try and various strokes you know make it um feel a little bit more random up there ah, that's better a few, a few more some of them are sort of you know they're pointing up in all different directions here uh, and a few dark ones over here because we want to make sure that this tree looks in front of that tree uh, so I'll go back in with my dark here and, and put a few Oh, it's not working. Okay, I'll use the end of it. <laughs> That's it. It's getting a little bit chopper block with pastel up there. So uh, just need to be really careful for now. So then we'll take some of that to we'll follow those, those lines out with... Uh, some of that blue as if there's snow on some of those branches there we go that'll help us that will help them feel as if they're there. that's it helps help them sorry <laughs> get excited sometimes <laughs> you get a good mark uh, concentrate mrs k all right uh so let's come across this top of this branch here that i've got there kind of quite like him we'll have uh which we'll have, a, have one coming off of him, kind of there. And then uh, obviously this, this branch here, coming in here, there's going to be some snow in there. So we'll add a little bit of snow to him. Yeah. And again, with this branch here, this is a thick branch, this is going to have a bit of snow on. Remember, this is, you know, this is our little world now. We've kind of gone away from the reference photo, but I'm just kind of thinking where the snow would sit on these branches that I have put down. Kind of sit it, you know, it sits in the... Sits in the grooves, you know, on the top of these branches. So I'm just... You know, those branches that I'm putting in, I'm just choosing which ones I want to have some snow on. I'm not going to put them on all of them. And like this one, I've got a bit of snow on that. So I'm going to give this a little bit of uh, darkness underneath that. So that's feeling like a branch with snow on it. That's better. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more um, stuff going on in here. This is a little bit pale in value here around here behind here so I want to add a little bit a few more you know to our trees that are going on behind let's push them back a little bit yeah, a little bit darker value in there I think it's going to serve us well <coughs> and then what we're going to do is <coughs> 
pick out a couple of these branches and get the side of you know sharp bit of your pastel and you can pick up any one of your dark dark values and do this with um you know that you whatever you've used in the trees and things you know but you don't have to worry too much in here because it's quite you kind of you know if we put a if we put a white mark down it's a good idea maybe to give an indication of you know maybe some of the branches you know the branches that it's sitting on underneath so if you can kind of get your marks, you know, roughly, roughly underneath your white marks, put in a few in other places. Yeah, let's add a few there. And make that kind of feel as if it's coming over there. And there. And there. So I'm not being, you know, not being just looking at your own picture, seeing how it feels seeing how your balance is going uh, now let's get a little bit more some of these new ones that i've just introduced let's get a little bit more uh, snow on some of those uh yeah let's get that on there and again just trying to get vaguely you know fairly close to where the branches that i've put in are you know but not worrying too much sometimes adding you know a little chunky bit in there because it all, you know, it's all tangled in there, isn't it? So let's have a little. There we go. Sorry for the silence, just looking as I'm going, uh, rolling my pastel around. You know, just breaking up that shape a little bit. Um, I think I'll make that one a little bit more defined. Oh, it's quite thick, Mrs. K. <laughs> That's it. Okay. That's okay. That actually works all right. Actually, we'll have that as a thicker branch. And it does the job. Because, you know, obviously there are going to be some thicker branches in here, aren't there? Where it, where it comes from. All right. A little bit more. A few more highlights in there. Let's take this branch off in that direction. Uh, using the side of my pastel. Sometimes, you know, sometimes creating little, little straight lines in there because you, you've got all mixture of there. Just tell you, you kind of get the look that you want to feel. That kind of feels like it's a little spiky bush. Uh, hasn't got a lot of leaves on, obviously, this time of year. There we go. All right, yeah. Okay, so starting to feel, let's get a little bit more dark in here. To go too crazy because I want to um I'm just gonna change this little shape in here a little bit bring this in just a bit just always looking at my tree and kind of refining it and and things uh, as I'm going now over here what we've got going on over here let's take a little bit of that blue and pop it behind here you know all this is going on behind that kind of feels as if that's set back in the distance there and then obviously you know on our on our um you know on our on our trees here we've got like little bits of ivy on um there's ivy growing on it so we'll just do a few little dots in the places you know it's kind of mainly we can always go back to our reference picture and, and have a look um kind of you know We've got some just sticky out branches from here, which I think actually I'll do in in this in this darker value. All sticky out branches there. Yeah, that's good. We'll have a little bit more in front of this tree. Looks like kind of the lights coming from here. There seems to be a slight 
uh, ever so slightly in the picture there seems to be a slight um, I just want to soften that a little bit so again put a few little the thing is you put a few little 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 marks in heavier marks and then just soften it off with your with your pastel um, and that's going to help Let's get a few more marks down here at the bottom here. That's better. That's looking a little bit more like it. The ivy, you know, that's all growing up here. Okay, let's have a little bit of on on this um, on this tree here. Now you can obviously you can take it up in whatever shape you want if you let you know if you want to create sort of garlands or you know you just kind of think maybe where you're break it up a little bit so some of those marks are a little bit heavier but we're just breaking up this tree a little bit now um let's get a little bit more of this lighter color in there That's a bit better. And then we'll take, obviously, you know, if you're, if you're going back into the tree, make sure that you perhaps, you know, more. Just take a little bit of light in there, so make sure you don't kind of lose the edge of your tree too much. We'll take a little bit of light into this bit here. Very light touch. Very light touch going through here. But as you can see, what's happening is we're going through, we're just picking up little, little areas. Let's say if you, if you don't want too much dark, going back in, just rub your pastel off. Now that's looking a little more like it. This is a bit strange kind of going on here. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Now, which is a branch and which isn't, Mrs. is K. Let's have a look. Uh, I think we can... See, I'm just going back in with the lighter colour and kind of um, kind of redefining it really. So let's have this shape going like this. That's a bit better. Maybe a little bit. Maybe come out a little bit there. I think. Maybe out a little bit at the bottom here. There we go. Take them down. All right. So, so these, you know, these are soft, gentle marks. You just want to, you know, be be careful that you don't overdo it. You can take some up onto some of your branches as well. Um, you just want to break this up so it's going to feel so it feels a little bit more natural. Um, you know, these are fairly unkempt to these trees, you know, so they've got they've got ivy on them. And I'm thinking, you know, more to more to the you know, sort of it the light is hitting it as you're coming around. So we'll take some of this. If you just use your past a little bit harder. When you want to create a more solid, solid look. Still a little bit strange shape going on up there. I think it's gone a little bit thick up there. So I'm just going to take my lighter colour pastel. Try and get the, redefine the tree shape through the, through the, uh, through the snow. So we can have a little bit of, we can do exactly the same here. Let's take a little bit of this light down here. You know, because there's snow everywhere. <laughs> and, and obviously in some places it's heavier than others. In other places it's just touching. Just take a little bit of colour down there. A little bit of that down there. Can you see just how beautiful it's just picking up parts of it to give us this wonderful, this, you know, 
more realistic feeling that things are going on. This is why it's so good to keep your touch really light and you can, you can really, you know, you're not getting as much snow down here. Anything that's falling, falling sort of below this line really. Uh, and where that tree is there, that's a big branch there. there I've gone possibly a bit heavy there I've gone there so if we come on that side yeah let's go let's go this side just a little bit more a little bit heavier so perhaps it feels you know it's a bush that's behind that tree Right, gone up a little bit high there. So what I can do is just come back and reintroduce a little bit more of the dark. But bear in mind, any dark that you put down now, if you're putting it over that light, it's not going to be as dark as uh, you know as when you put it on fresh, because uh, you're kind of mixing those colours now we're getting our own neutrals going on underneath you know underneath what we've got, got going on there all right so let's have a little stand back and look all right i think we are getting there now you know <laughs> slowly but surely uh, but that post box is still worrying me you know? so i think i'm just going to go in with my uh with my darker pastel here um and just Bring that line over just that little bit more. Oh, that's so much better, says she. <laughs> okay. Because this, this corner here is quite sharp. And this bit is wider than that bit. But, you know, the way I've drawn it, this is still, this is still a little on the wide side here, comparatively to there. But I mustn't fuss anymore with said blue box. So next on the agenda, let's take a little bit more of that brown that we used up in the up in the um, up here. I'm going to put a little bit more of it in here and in here. A little bit more around here and then out there. Just darken it down just that little bit more. And there's kind of there is a difference between you know these these here. Let's give these some tops. <laughs> give these trees some tops. These bushes here. There we go. All right. Getting thinner as we as as we come up. Re-establish some of those, uh, you know, some of those stronger branches that we've got going on down there. Just until it feels right to you, you know, um, and that's it. You know, once we, you know, once, well, once you've got your basics down, really, you know, your painting takes its own life and um, you take it to, to exactly where you want it and, and, and how, how much you want to... Um, you know, how much detail do you want to put on? Do you want to leave it just simple or do you love, are you like me? Do you love all these uh, finishing things? Just want to soften that back tree a little bit. Um, and also, that's a bit better. And let's, uh, Break that up a little bit, a little bit heavy that was. Um, then I think we need to actually. Um, so this is the tree that's coming from up here. So we can darken this one a little bit. Let's give him a little bit more colour. Kind of coming out in this this 
this shape. I'm going to go a little bit darker still, get some of that darker brown pastel on there. Uh, where's that gone? Okay, so what we're really getting there now, um, I love all these little bits, um, but as I said to you earlier, you know, um, it's really up to you just how much detail you, you want to put in or not. Um, you know, this is, all, this is all personal. Now what I'm doing now is I, I've lost my tree that I kind of put in there, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-establish him, him, but rather than putting any more dark on, I'm going to bring some of this green in there lighten up around it so sort of like re-establishing it through as i say through uh, negative painting sorry through negative painting and just sort of getting it back in there um i think i'll have him splitting up here somewhere so we'll get a little bit of that green there now this is it this is the other green that i was using i want to put a little bit of this in in here to sort of variegate this ivy that we've going on, we've got going on, just so that a little bit, you know, a few bits of it are catching the light. Uh, a little, few bits are coming out. This this little pastel is a little bit harder. Um, okay, good. Uh, the, yeah, this little pastel is a little bit harder. We've got. Let's take a little bit of the ivy up here, a little bit on there. And let's take it up the trunk a little bit, break this, this bit of an unusual shape I've got going on here. So let's just break it up a little bit. Ooh. You know, put some, some marks down heavier than others. Um, and just kind of think, as I said, I think the light's kind of coming here. Through here, a little bit difficult to tell on this this uh, reference photo because you know it's it's obviously quite dark in there, and I do I do want it too dark in there. So you know, breaking it up with this ivy is just going to help us. Ivy's growing up this branch here, and behind there, that's a little bit ugly there. So let's spin that out a little bit. There we go. And take some across this branch here. I think I'll actually take a little bit of white on that branch. Let me just, well, not white. This is the blue that I've been using. I'm going to take this up. I've sort of created a branch there, so just kind of put a little bit of snow on that way. As he's going up into the. Oh, yes, that's nice. And this one here, let's redefine this one a little bit. There's a little bit of snow going on here. Yep. And this is it. I'm just going through, through, you know, through the marks I've put down, bringing out some, losing others. Just this process of going backwards and forwards. And we'll take a little bit of snow out here. On top of that branch there. A little bit going out there. A little bit following the line of this branch. You know, if you're coming out into the into the sky there, it's harder to see everything. Introduce a little bit more of that blue here, break this shape up a little bit so that these trees feel behind those ones. Now, where else? Let's have a look. Stand back and have a little look. But well, I still think I can do... I'm going to come back in with the screen, uh, as I say. Um... And just break this area up a little bit more, just so it's not one solid colour. Let's get a little bit of these, this ivy on this tree here, a little bit of stronger colour. It's, it's only, you know, it's quite, it's not very obvious the difference in colours, but, you know, I like it. <laughs> I love all these finishing details. Right, now I'm going to split this branch off here now because this looks a bit odd here. We've got a little bit of an odd shape. So I'm going to split him up there a little bit. And then I'm take him up there. <clears throat> I think I'm going to bring this, this branch as if it's coming out more of the front of this tree. So... Uh, 
just defining it with you know, you know really up to you you don't you know take it as far as you want to take it um you know i'm a i love detail and i love you know this is the bit of the painting that for me is just an absolute pure joy you know all these little finishing finishing touches and you, you know you've got to be careful that you don't overdo it um you know and that i can do and sometimes you know you look back and you think oh i, I could have left it ten, i could have left that painting 10 minutes earlier maybe i should have done um but it, you, you you don't really know but what i suggest is that you, you know you might notice me i'm just I step back every couple of seconds, just have a look, kind of half squint my eyes. Is that feeling right? Um, you know, I'm going to make this one feel as if it's coming from there. I think break up that, you know, this is quite a big dark mass I've got going on in this tree here. Um, in the centre there, so I just want to, you know, bring in a few little, few little bits of snow, you know, break it up just a little bit. I'm going to have a little bit, a little bit of this foliage. We'll have some, you know, a little bit of a branch coming across the front of it here. That's it, just breaking it up just that little bit. And obviously we've got some in here. We've got some light, you know, where some snow's kind of hit upon, hit upon the side there. Very, very light. Yeah, okay. Ooh, 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 she says she likes this. <laughs> I'm getting there now. It, it's it's getting there. It, it's starting to, you know, to, to me, I'm liking the feeling going on. Um, so that's a good, that's a good sign. <laughs> that's a good sign. Right, I just want to find my darkest dark. Bear with me a second. That's it. And what I want to do is I just want to bring make this branch a little bit thicker because it's quite close to the bottom so it's quite a thick branch this really and i've got it a little bit skinny so we're kind of pulling it up getting thinner that's better that's better she says <laughs> okay and i did kind of have the as i say i had a tree going on here i'm gonna whilst i've defined it a little bit with the uh, With the outside, I do want to make it a little bit darker, make it feel as if it's in balance, and obviously bring it down underneath there. That's it, that's just broken up that area just a little bit. We can put a little bit of a, but ever such a slightly, you know, a little bit in there just to break it up. My touch is so light here though, I can't tell you how touch my, how touch my light is, <laughs> how light my touch is. Um, you know, in this way. Okay, so let's get a little, you can see some bits of, bits going on here in, inside this branch here. A few little, few little gappy bits there. That's it. Try and make you, you know, try and break things up and just try and get it looking, get it looking natural. Nothing's ever the same. So various strokes. You know, some places you've got, you know, chunks of, chunks of snow just sitting on something. And, you know, it's kind of caught on some places. And let's have a little bit in here. Yeah. Define that one a little bit more. Now, this is obviously behind here, so I just... I'm just going to kind of dot along there because I don't want to, you know, sort of mess around too much with that nice, nice feel that we've got going on up here. We'll just put a little bit of that bit up there. Just a touch, just to, again, just to break it up just that little bit. That's it. Here, this is all look, this is looking a little bit messy here. So let's decide which of these branches we're gonna 
just bring out. And if you do with a little bit of balance going on here, so let's bring this branch out. Oh, I've gone a bit far into the tree there. That wouldn't be uh, no, I've got to decide which side I, I want to make the mark stronger. So let's bring that branch there as if that's coming out of there. Yeah. Let's just take a little bit of that off. Like I said, you can you know you can cover up your um what you've got got going on underneath with the dark. Um you just need to make sure that if you want to cover up an area that you've you know, that you've made um, perhaps a little bit too light or whatever, and you don't want it to be muddy. You know, these these are tree, tree trunks, so they are actually, they've got some substance to them. Um, you just need to go in and put your pastel down in a harder fashion, you know, just go over the top of it. That's if you like what's going on underneath. If you're not so keen on what's going on underneath, then, you know, you can brush it out. Just ever so gently. But try and avoid, you know, when you're going around these sort of areas, try and avoid brushing out too much because um, you kind of want these, you know, these are our finishing marks. I'm trying to find a nice flat edge of that pastel. These are our finishing marks. So <clears throat> yeah, and I did, I did, I did want a little tree around here, didn't I? So Let's redefine this one, making bring this one forward a little bit more. Yeah. I'm just splitting off in this direction. Just make that one a little bit stronger in there. Again, just breaking up that area of dark just a little bit so it's feeling, you know, some things are feeling in front of each other, some things are behind. All right, let's just break this up just that little bit more again because there is snow in bits and places in there that's it okay and i think we'll take a break this up a little bit so it feels like you've got air you know gap in between all this all this going on you know, don't bring these marks down too far because, you know, these harder marks here. Just wanting to... All right. Okay, so what we got next on the agenda? Okay, so for the time being, I think I'm fairly happy with that. I've gone a little bit too... too light on the edge of that. So just want to darken that down a little bit. That's better. Um, all right. So you're just constantly looking, evaluating a little bit. Um, you know, just going backwards and forwards. What I want to do is I want to just make this a little bit more obvious there, but I don't want to go too too. Um, I don't want to go too dark there because these are further in the distance. But I want to give this, you know, so it feels like a tree back here in the distance. Oh, it's not feeling like a tree, is it, Mrs. K? <laughs> Your tree. Just, you know, breaking up where the, where sort of my horizon line is at the back there. Just popping in, popping in a couple of trees there. Now I want to come in with a slightly sharper pastel. Um, now, because I want to get those. Uh, in fact, I think I'll probably come in with my pastel pencil. I just want to give an indication of a, of sort of the the trunks and a few little branches through here. Just so again, just want to break it up a little bit. Just by putting in that little bit of dark, I can make this feel a little bit more like a tree, in, you know, underneath that sort of spongy stuff that I've got going on. Just come in over the top, make that feel a little bit more like a, a tree. Bump, 
but I'm using my pastel pencil quite lightly in here, but making sure that it's kind of enough to, um, enough just to, just to make up, make a mark. So let's bring up, like I say, let's have these looking a bit more like trees. Just a little bit of dark, indicate, just indicate ever so slightly a little tree trunk, you know, where it might be going off, all that sort of a bit hard. You know, but these trees, they are in the distance, so we don't, make sure we don't get them too big. Just want to break it up just that little bit. Take up a little bit of the... That's it. Okay, so, and let's bring out a couple of little branches here. As I say, you can find the sharp edge of your of your soft pastel if you're not using pastel pencils. Um, but for these little delicate ones, I just find it easy, easier with a pastel pencil because you can just, you know, you've got. Oh, it's easier to. Put, she said it's it's easier to put your your. Let's give them a tree trunk here. there because remember I want to just kind of lead us around here so I think we can have a little introduce a little bit of the because this this tree needs to feel in front of these trees here so we're going to add a little bit of light to these trees and just so can you see I'm just kind of twisting my pastel around I'm just trying to give myself an indication Okay, so then it's sort of like very chunky there and then it goes off into little thin branches. So I just want to make a couple of these up there. But with the pastel pencil, what you're actually doing is you're kind of digging, digging into your pastel that you've already got down. So be a little bit careful, you know, make sure you don't, uh, you can take a few bits off here so he's looking as if he's be behind this. So we've kind of got a branch going off there. Let's make this. So what I'm going to do is just come in with a little bit of a lighter value here. Just to... Oh, I think we might be getting a howl from the dogs at the moment. <laughs> oh, yes. I'll, I'll, I'll just stop for a moment because it'll be very loud in about two ticks. Hold on. <laughs> Right, sorry about that. They are funny. They, they kind of. I, if you don't know, I've got I've got um, nine dogs, um, and uh, every now and again they they go into a howl, and it's just so lovely. It's almost like they get a wolf pack, um, but they can be rather loud. <laughs> so, uh, as I say, ju just with that tree there, just pulling out a couple of little branches there, um, and again, I am going to where I came in with that white or blue rather <laughs> I haven't used white I've just used pale blue but look how white it looks <laughs> you know it's uh, it's amazing it all depends what color it's next to you know and uh, a color will that's better that feels as if that's going off up there let's uh, bring him bring that there okay so that kind of feels something's going on there you've got a bit I've got a bit of a strange mark going on there, so I'll bring that branch down in front, I think. Maybe it should have gone behind. I'm not, not sure looking at that, but never mind. I think it's fine. I think we're good. Just, there we go. Let's. That's great because that's given us that little little bit of push me pull you in the back. Just going to put a couple more. Just going to drag this blue down ever so gently into here a little bit more. Break up these trees just a little bit. Watching that I don't get too uh, 
too much muck there around the top of here we'll just get a little bit of a little bit more air going on bringing it down cleaning my i'm actually using my hand at the moment to clean off the uh clean off the pastel no i was just checking the video it was working yeah i've actually used my hand to clean off the pastel possibly not the best idea but uh as I say, I do have a towel at the bottom, but if I'm, um, that's it, let's bring a little bit more of this, wiping it off, bring it down, just giving it a little bit more air at the top. Now, obviously, we're not going to see this, but it's easier if you take it from the edge. This is why I always, I always paint the edge of the paper, um, so it's, you can get the, uh, you can start it off at the edge and, and lighten your touch as you, as you bring it down. That's it. And again, just do it to feel, you know, just how much air you want to put in there. You want to try and get it, I want a little bit more, really break this this little area up just a little bit more behind what's going on behind here to make it feel like it's behind that's it and I think we'll add a little bit of lighting just at the edge of this tree so we can pop that out of the yes nice <laughs> I'm ever so sorry I, I, I love this bit as you, as you might tell I'm playing if any of you are still watching, you're just watching me play now, just totally. But that's that's what art should be, you know, should be, should be playtime. And, um, you know, how much you want to play with any one painting is up to you. But, you know, that's it. That's why I always keep my touch so, so light. Um, because... I like to play at the end, you know, <laughs> and so I like to give myself, you know, leave myself the opportunity that I can do that. Um, again, just that's it, you know, just going in if I feel that I've kind of lost something, lost a branch that I feel, you know, needs to come forward a bit here. You know, we've kind of lost this where that snow is sitting on. And then we'll have one coming out here. Um, and that's it, just with, the, just with the touch of your pastel and how heavy you put it down, you know, will bring things backwards and forwards. Uh, just break that up a little bit in there, getting a little bit mucky in there. Give that something to hold on to. Now I'm going to take a little bit of that dark up. That's it. All right. So I think we're kind of, I'm going to leave those with those because I could fab on forever. So we'll leave those for the time being. And I'm going to just, now here where I was messing around with my post box, you might be able to see on the video here, it's kind of created a line where the um, pastels dropped. As I say, because I have my my easel on a, on a um, slight angle so you can see it a bit clearer. Um, it doesn't quite drop down as much, but if your easel is upright, you know, that pastel will drop down more. You didn't see that. Um, but if I do blow, I always blow from the side so that the pastel's going, oh, oh, <laughs> so, so that the pastel's going away from me, and then I'll just stand back for a couple of seconds to well, let that, you know, let that dust settle. Because obviously you don't, you don't want too much of that going on in your lungs, it's possibly not the best idea. All right, so, um, as I say, I, I just wanted to take out that little bit of uh, pink there. I don't want, don't want this too pinky, this, you know, um, and red is such a strong colour, so be a bit careful, you know, if you've got that. But now I've just taken that, because if I left it there, I would then be smearing that pink across. Which is fine if I want it, but in this instance, I don't. So I can come back in with my pastel now over the top of that. And that will, that will kind of disappear. Now, 
I've, um, now, if you look at the reference photo, you'll see that you know somebody might it looks as if they've been out with a couple of bicycles or whatever. I'm not going to put those grooves in. I, d I don't think that they're particularly adding anything. It's quite nice that it's nice and crisp. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'd like to smooth this um, snow out just a little bit. I um, don't want so much variation going on there. Sorry, Henry was having a good old scratch then, so I thought I'd better tell you all. So, as I say, I don't want too much variation going on here. So I just want to see if I can tease these pastels kind of into each other a little bit. We'll go and add a little bit more pastel in a moment. Um, but I just want to kind of tease them in. Take that into, take that into there. But I'm going to come back and we're going to put some branches back in here. But I just want to make sure that we've got enough going on right all right then so now I'm going to go back in with my with my lighter my lighter value here um, and like I did earlier I'm just going to redefine perhaps the edge edge here at the side where things are a little bit lighter if you look at the reference photo it's a little bit lighter at the edge because obviously all these little grasses and things are growing up at the back Oh, Henry's really having a good old scratch. I do apologise. I'm not sure if my husband's going to be able to blat that out or not, so you don't hear quite so much of it. All right, so uh, I'm going to, enjoy, going to this. Now, actually, I think I am going to have a little bit of, of pink here as it comes towards us. Let's, this is the palest of pinks. Just dragging it from... <laughs> I'm gonna take us in that little bit further there. That's better. So that we've kind of got a bearing in mind where I want to take us on our little little journey. Now at the base of these trees it's a little bit lighter. Um, I'm going to come back with a uh, paler blue here uh, going off on the, in the distance. Just trying to get the, kind of the edge of that field going on there so that that's feeling as if you know that's going off into the distance there okay all right so now I'm going to come in with um I'm going to come in with another slightly lighter this is lighter pastel still so I want to use this in the areas where I really want the Where it's lightest in the picture. Um, oh. Just take us off around there, off up around that corner. I mean, in here. So it's a little bit lighter. This pastel is, is gorgeous, actually. It's, it actually has got a little bit of sparkling. Which is rather nice when you can. It's difficult to pick up on the camera, um, but in uh, uh, when when you look at it close up, it's just got that little bit of sparkling. It's so pretty for snow scenes. All right, so we're going off up there again. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on this on this edge here. Not not you know not going in a continuous line. Just letting it dance across the paper. You know, to give us that, because it's thicker in some areas, isn't it? Thinner in others. So, but this is, you know, this path here. And then what we'll do is we'll get that colour and we'll drag it in from those marks that we've just been doing. And it feels like it's coming across. Make sure you don't get too mucky. So in doing this, I'm kind of smoothing out this snow a bit. You know, these are uh, these marks that I've got in. A bit of 
light is becoming yeah kind of defining define the road a bit get a little bit of light coming on over here right that's a kind of a straight line going on the back there which you know is where the snow is settling so I want it to it's getting quite thick up there so I've got to be a bit careful so if you created a you know if you created too much that's it and then our light is coming from here. Again, be a bit careful here when you're going into here that you're not going to pull out too much of that dark. We kind of want it to, want it lighter. Just as it come around, comes around there, a little bit of light, a little bit of light going on, coming from this side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this ever so slightly over that centre bit just so it's getting the light hitting in some places. I mean this is a blanket of snow so we don't want it to feel, you know, I don't want it to feel too undulating. I want it to feel as if nobody's been down there particularly um, and it's virgin snow, you know, you've gotten up in the morning you're going to go and, you know, post your Christmas cards and, and uh this scene was just so lovely and nostalgic, you know, uh, really nice, really pretty. All right, so I think, you know, right, next, next, last, last couple of things here now. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and we're just going to put a few little branches uh, in this front. As I say, I don't want to take us off the page, so I want this, let's put a little bush here, just a, you know, a little idea of some scrappy, scrappy um, twigs and things there, just to help us pull into the into the picture a little bit more so I want a nice sharp edge really um we could let's have a look at my pastel see what I've got a nice sharp edge in uh, yeah for, we want a, a kind of a darkish valley let's try this that's now obviously these are coming in my imagination these are coming sort of just going to pick out a couple of these, a couple of branches from, you know, a couple of, make it feel as if it's coming out. These branches are kind of going to flop on over. Again, don't worry too much because you're going to lose that. Even if you don't, even if you don't put a mount around your um, your painting, even putting it in the frame, um, the very way the frame is is kind of made, will um, you, you know you you are going to lose just the, those very edges. You'll lose slightly more if you do have a mount, um, but you still do lose them in you know in your painting and sometimes you know it's quite nice to just to disappear off into nothing into nothing um again your you know your your choice um right now that's coming a little bit green for me now so i'm going to i'm going to come in with that darker value again um this one and i get a sharp edge <laughs> and i'm going to go over a couple of those branches that i've put in Again, it doesn't matter because some of them are going to be heavier than others, aren't they? And some of them are going to, you know. Oh, that's it. That's it. We're going to come in with some snow in a minute and put some snow on some of these branches. But I just want to give myself an indication help you know have this little bush help lead us up the path there yeah that's kind of a, that's kind of a 
Okay. Excuse my doggies. Somebody went past them. <laughs> they didn't like the sound of. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, I mean, this. To be honest, this is why I ha I don't uh, I haven't done this type of video before. Um, because you know I'm, I'm be trying to get it really quiet for you guys so that the dogs aren't making too much noise and as i say at the moment i don't know how much um my lovely johnny is going to be able to uh take out of this video with regard to the noise um but i'd really like to be able to do videos like this where you know literally i'm just talking as i'm painting you know because it, it it's taken me forever, you know, it takes me a long time to paint. And then if I have to come back and sort of do voiceovers and things, um, the difficulty is, is I'm not there in that moment. So um, a lot of what, what I'm doing is, you know, sometimes getting missed. Um, because I'm kind of re-looking back at it and trying to remember, you know, while some of it's obviously obvious what I'm doing, other... Other, others of it aren't and maybe there's like a little nuance or something that I've done but I just want to tell you that I end up missing you know when I when I do my voiceovers so let's add a little bit of maybe we want to break this up not too um not too uniform All right, so now here, am I going to lighten this up a little bit? I think I might put just a little bit of that lighter, you know, that lighter sort of ochre colour that I've got here. And I just think I'm just going to just, this is lovely, this has got a real sharp edge, this one. So I'm just going to integrate a few little, a few, where am I? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just lighten up just that touch again not worried to worry too you know too too much i think i'm going to take a little bit of this um this sparkly i haven't got any any of that sparkly in there so what i'm going to do is just do it this way again just breaking that up so it looks as if little bits are, are growing up Give me a little bit of air in there. Okay, and here, the tops of these glasses at the back here. Just so that's feeling. That's that feeling a little bit warm. Do you want everything to be, you know, finishing at the same height? Try and, you know, if you if you kind of got a line like that, you know, don't worry. Just go in and put it. Just break it up a little bit. Um, like I say, yeah, like I mentioned earlier, you know, our brains love, love putting things in, in order and uh, love, loves lining things up. So, <clears throat> and nature is not all lined up and perfect. So really look at that when you're, you know, when you're doing your painting, try to get a little bit of variation going on there with your heights and, and things. I'm going to use a little bit of light behind there to help me define our infamous post box there gotta be careful here <laughs> I, do, I, don't, I don't want to be doing that again okay <coughs> oh excuse me so on this post box here it's uh if we have a look at it this line now this is going to this is where i've got to be careful here but this line at the top of the post box is where it's at its lightest so i'm just going to introduce a, a snow there is really thick Just above there, I've now made that, I've tilted that down, so <laughs> as I say, I want to be really careful here. Because well, I've made a big, big, um, uh, did not make a big uh, a meal out of this post box, I can't, can't believe it. Look, I looked back at the video last night and I thought, oh my goodness me, what, you know, what are you up to, Mrs. K? Something so you know relatively simple and yet oh my goodness me what a palaver <laughs> so i really 
you want to take care to get it right. Oh my goodness me. Now, I just want to put, straighten this back up. It's just ever so slightly. I've got a sharp pastel here now in my hand. Now this is where I... Oh yes, she's done it, she's done it, I do believe she's done it. All right, now leave that alone. Um just going to just gonna um darken that just a little bit. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna come in and do my little bit of sparkle. Um gonna get my um Let's get my craft nice and I'm just going to put a little bit of spark up there and then I think I might just call it done. Right, bear with me. Before I do that, I just want to... Uh, put a firm mark there. Be careful when you're, you know, when you're... When you're doing this, you know, red is such a strong colour. So do take care that you don't kind of pull out your red too much. Okay, that's got a very thick layer on it now. <laughs> but, uh, oh, for it. Cover that post there. Okay, but it looks kind of like a post box, so I mustn't faff anymore. So now what I'm going to do, uh, depending on, you know, what I'm doing, uh, I've got a whole video or, you know, I've got a video here on YouTube of how I do this. Ideally, it's, it's easier if you're, um, I have to stand on tippy toes now, it's easier if you're painting splat. Now what I want to do is I just want to put a little bit up here, um, but yeah, it's not, unfortunately it's not sticking because my board's not flat enough. Um, so I might need to, right, let me see if I can adjust things and so that you can see it whilst I'm going. Bear with. Right, I've just tilted my board a little bit more this way so that I'm not I just want to put a little bit here. What will happen, it's still going down a little bit far on my paper. Um, so normally I would... Because it's just, just catching it. If I have too much of a difficulty, I might come in here with... Uh, like I said earlier, I might come in with a bit of fi fixative. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. But just using this lightest value that I've got. Where I just want to break things up a little bit. Oh, it does have a little bit of a mind of its own. Okay, I think we'll have a little bit come down the painting a little bit more. Here, see if we can get a few. But I kind of do want gravity because I want it to feel as if it's dropping down, you know, um, without. But like I say, this would would be easier if it were even flatter. So I might just, uh, I don't think I can get this any flatter. Let's have a look. Oh, I don't want to fall off the table with my easel. <laughs> okay, uh, let's have a go. Oh, that's better, it's getting a bit more where I want it. All this do is doing is breaking up this area, just so it's got little, little bits of light, little bits of snow. Um, it's giving it that kind of random feel. A little bit more. Oh, isn't it pretty? It's snowing. <laughs> Um, but, you know, I, it's not really snowing in this particular scene. I think the snow's been and gone. Um, but it's quite nice to, to do this. I want to catch a bit of this on the top of this bush here. You know, but I, I'd like to, you know, I could go in with, in with my pastel. But I'm going to, if I go in with my pastel, I'm going to create... Very, you know, it's it's difficult not to be uniform or to make it look too um too bitty. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the same over here. Well, actually, I'll put a little bit more light in here before I go. Let's put a little bit of that in. That's that. And then I'm going to do the same with one of my darker pastels that I, that I was using. Um, let's try... Let's try this one just up here. See if we can get a feeling of, see if I can get away with not using. But again, what I'm trying to do is just get a little bit of variation. And what we're going to do is we're going to rub this in in a minute. All right, don't worry about this going on here because what we're going to do is rub some of it in and then we're going to get rid of what we don't want. So let me just get myself a bit of glassine. Right, before I do, what I just want to do is I'm going to take my, um, I'm going to take the blue that we've been using and this will come down a bit. It's not quite as crumbly as the other one. So it's going to give us... And when we when we put this into the paper, it feel lacy and pretty. All right. So let's get a little bit of glassing paper. And what I want to do is push that into the paper. What we've just put down here now. Now, I don't really want to be pushing in the paper here, so taking a little bit of care. I just want to go over this area here. So just using my hand there, just to push that into the paper. Then that's going to, then that, you know, then that's going to stay there. That's going to stay there. And then we lift it off. And some of these will have splodged out bigger and some of them will be tiny. There we go. And if you put something in, that you don't like, you know, like there, I'm thinking, oh, that's a bit, that's a bit thick. You can just whiz it out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that pastel there. Um, don't want too much of that there. All right, so I think we're just about there now. Um, might come back and do a little bit of tweaking, but it's kind of got to the point that I think, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my signature on it. Um, I'm going to put my signature on it and then I'm going to walk away from it. Um, now, I'll do an update. If I come back and do anything else, I'll, I'll come back and do an update. But I think I'm, I, I think I'm, I, I think I like this painting. <laughs> um, I think it's nice. I'm going to come in. This is just a, this is just another, another light value. It doesn't really matter what, you know, what colour you choose. Just bear in mind where you want your lightest, you know, your lightest areas to be along there coming in there you know at this stage in some places i am putting it down down heavier because you're not seeing those undul undulations further away really um yeah all right, so I'm going to come in with a little bit of that green and just pull this, pull this up a little bit. I haven't, I've decided not to put a post and rail there, but I want to give some kind of indication that, there we are, you know, that there's something between, uh, something between, and I came down a little bit low with that green, so I want to lift that up a little bit. Just to feel that we're going off round there and then there's a, a kind of field behind. All right, so as I say, I think we're there now. So I'm going to stop messing around. <laughs> I'm going to stop messing around, says she, as she carries on putting pastel down. <laughs> I just love them. <laughs> I can't help it. Pulling a little bit of this under here. Um, 
but really if you kind of get to the stage that you're absolutely not sure what you're doing just walk away and leave it but um overall i think i'm pretty happy with this so let me get my pencil out let's put a signature on it and uh if i come back to it as i say i'll, I'll post an update but uh, i think we're done all right okay thanks so much for watching um i hope you've enjoyed the video and i hope you've you know enjoyed this way of me teaching i've certainly had fun uh doing it like this so um i'm hoping to to sort of uh you know to uh to, to do this kind of video more often where i'm just painting and talking as i go and then hopefully i'll be able to give you sort of more insights as i go along and as you see paint at a really slow pace so uh you can paint along with me that would be so nice and if you do i'd just love to see what you get up to all right thank you so much for watching i wish you a lovely week um take care be happy and uh happy painting so um <laughs> I did decide, I, I stood back and had a look at it and I will put just a couple more marks in. I just want to make this feel kind of uh, coming up right here. We've got a little bit of, uh, that's it, and the base. Remember that all of these are slightly deeper at the base. So I've just got a very, the very, the dark, a dark brown, um, brown pastel paint, uh, pencil here. And just indicating, breaking up that a little bit more, just indicating some of those grasses going on there. Yeah. Yeah. All right then. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll go again. <laughs> And here's my finished painting and as you can see I added a few more little sparkles I darkened down the front of that post box and added a little bit bit of snow onto it other than that it's exactly as you saw it so I thank you once again for joining me I wish you a lovely week and happy painting